Live coverage of the Alabama Bass Trail is presented by Amherst Credit Union and sponsored by Phoenix Boats, Landers McClarty Chevrolet, McGraw Webb Chevrolet, Jax, Garmin, Rapala, VMC, Crush City, Pro Guide Batteries, Mountain Dew, American Bait Works, TH Marine, and FishAlabama.org. Hello, friends and neighbors, and welcome to stop number three of the Alabama Bass Trail South Division here from beautiful Lincoln Landing at Lake Logan Martin. We sent 225 teams out this morning in search of $15,000 worth of bass, and we are fixing to kick things off at this weigh-in, like we always do, by honoring this great nation with the playing of our national anthem. All right, let's weigh some bass here from Logan Martin. Some big spotted bass, some big largemouth, I'm sure, headed our way here in this Alabama Bass Trail South Division event presented by Phoenix Bass Boats. And we are going to have a new leader. It's almost a guarantee right here. A couple guys have already weighed in. We've got Wayne, Way Waylon, I cannot talk today. Mullis and Jeff Fanzler, sorry, guys. Five bass. We're going to say that a lot today, too. Step right over here, 12.07. You're on top of the Pro Guide leaderboard. Congratulations. I told you you would be. Yeah. <laughs> For a little bit of money, Miss Kay said, if you pay me, we can stop the way in. Uh, how much? Half of what you win. $7,500, Miss Kay. $7,500, we can cut. All right. Congratulations. You just won the tournament. Yeah. Congratulations. I'll meet you about back. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Mullis and Fansler. Yeah, let's get a picture of a couple of those. We're going to weigh one for Mountain Dew Big Bass right here real quick. 324 on the Mountain Dew Big Bass. Yeah, get a picture. Hold it up right out front here. Some Lake Logan Martin largemouth. Always like seeing how partners divide up the fish, right? It's always an argument. You get to hold the big one. No, I want to hold it. All you did was netted it and ate snacks. There we go. Fumble. They're always harder to catch the second time around. All right, coming up next, Jeremy Smitherman, Timothy Hicks, boat number 25 with a five fish limit. And we are definitely going to say that a lot today. Five fish that are going to go 840. We catch a bunch of them out there today. We saw them live. There were a lot of fish catching going on, but size was hard to come by. Caught about 60, but lower gear went out this morning, so. Never want those mechanical issues. We trolled all the way back. Well, thanks for making it back and weighing those in. The points are very important, as you well know. Scotty Taylor, Shane Barker, boat number 23. We have another one of those five bass limits. It's going to go 740 on the day. Got to get those points. That's all it's about today because they didn't chew for me. No, no big ones today. We appreciate you fishing with us. Better luck at the next one. Mark Cameron, Brian Belcher, boat number six coming up here. Another five fish limit. 
Going to go 1177. Good bag of fish. It's going to have you in second place on the Pro Guide leaderboard right now. Again, I made this team with the guys that are leading. If we stop the weigh-in right now, you got to split your winnings with me. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. And Jason, because he just gave me an ugly look right here. We got one we're going to wait for Mountain Dew Big Bass. How do we catch that fish today? Uh, that one's probably on a crankbait. What kind of crankbait? Rapala? Oh, it's bagley. A bug bag. bag. Bagley's? Okay. All right. See, I know you're not lying to me. I know. You were not lying to me. Everybody else lies to me all the time up here. Mountain Dew Big Bass, 269. Not going to make it 324 on Mountain Dew Big Bass right now. Some great bag of fish. Good points. And we got boat number one coming up here. These fellas are a threat all over the place. Shane Powell and Tim Fox coming up here. Five fish limit. How are y'all? Five that are going to weigh 1272, and you're now in the lead. Congratulations. Very nice. As I've told everybody, we can stop the way in for a certain payment to a certain MC. Just keep on going. Don't stop it. We got one we're going to make for Mountain Dew Big Bass right now. Let's see. Going to be a new Mountain Dew Big Bass here early in the way in 354. How did we catch those fish today? Caught them shallow. Chatterbait. Anything else? See, so you had to, you looked at Shane. You're like, all right, are we telling him? What are we not telling him? All shallow? All shallow. Spinnerbait. So with the low water, we said, yeah, I got you lied to me once or twice. I'm not sure. So with the low water, is that holding some of these bigger largemouth back from getting up there and spawning? Because the lake is so low to be right here at the spawn time. It was our topic of conversation on live the entire time. Like, what what do we think about the low water and the and the largemouth? Uh, I mean, they're they're up there. I just I don't think they're spawned yet. At least not the ones that we caught. So that's all I can go off of. Okay, so they're probably waiting on that water to come up then. All right, that was the – Jason and I have a bet on that. That's kind of the – then the conversation all day. We appreciate you guys. Get some pictures. Hold them up out front right here. Boat number eight coming up next. Mike Hearn and Sugar Walker. Sugar contributed to my delinquency with sugar this morning by bringing me donuts. 968 on the day. You didn't bring me like any treats at all to the weigh in. That's what we were hoping for. But they they're not doing the same thing this weekend as they've been the last two weekends. So a little bit of change. Is it the water level? Is it the weather? What's causing that? I think the weather got our fish. With the all the rain and everything? The, I think this cold front knocked them off. Because we had to back out a little bit to catch what we got. We saw a lot of that today on live, folks. I mean, a lot of people fishing shallow, but still a lot of people out dragging off the bank. Yeah, we we were catching some really solid fish on a, a loaded swim bait, and that bite left today. Well, good points, though, a limit on the board, and we'll see you at the next one. Brian Jones and Barry Jones boat number nine, another five fish limit, 889 on the day. Couldn't get that big bite, but got you a limit. Yeah, it was a good day. Caught a lot of fish, but again, just cannot find a big fish. This lake is absolutely full of bass. I don't think anybody that's ever fished here would argue with that point. Yeah, we. I think the water, if it was up, it would have it would have played better for us. This one would have been. Uh, it's crazy what they would have caught up there about this deep. If it had been a little bit, a little bit more water on them. John Frank, Mark Womack, looking like a new leader right here. Boat number seven, Frank and Womack, thirteen eighty nine. Going to take them to the top of the Pro Guide leaderboard. How do we catch those? Uh, fishing docks. Fishing boat docks. We like it. Absolutely. We're going to weigh one for a Mountain Dew Big Bass. What kind of bait did we catch that big one on? Uh, structure bug. Structure bug. Okay. Okay, let's see what it weighs. A big old spotted bass in there. We always like to see those on the Coosa River. 342 on a big spotted bass. Going to be just shy. 354 is our Mountain Dew big bass right now. Great job, though. Great bag of fish. Solid bag. 1389. Let, let's hold a couple of those up right out here. And then for Jason Duran right here at the end of the stage. I'm going to sound like a broken record with this today. Jody Vike, Craig Hall, boat 45 with a five bass limit. Another good bag of fish coming right here. Come on over here, guys. We can all photo bomb together. 
10.52 on the day. How do we catch those? Uh, mixed bag, chatterbait, Cinco, jig. <laughs> I said today this lake is as DD as I am. There's a lot going on out there. You can pick your poison. Yeah. Yesterday you could throw anything and catch them, but today was similar, just a little slower start. Logan Martin's a beautiful lake full of bass. We appreciate you guys. Boat number 12, Chris Rutman and Kobe Carden. Another five bass limit. These boys are always a threat on the Coosa River. We're going to have a new leader. Imagine that. Rutland and Carden, 1471, going to take the lead. We got one for Mountain Dew Big Bass. We're going to weigh. Mountain Dew Big Bass right now currently 354. Rutland and Cardin, 336 on a Mountain Dew Big Bass. Chris, let's hold those up. You guys are the tournament leader. Grab you a couple out of there. Right out here. And then right here to Jason Duran. Chris Rutland, Kobe Cardin on top, 1471. Chris, before you run off real quick, you guys are Coosa River legends, as many wins as anybody up and down this entire chain. How'd we catch those today in this low water? All of them on boat docks. Yeah. On, yeah. on boat docks, yeah. Are they spawning around or are they staging? Man, most of those look like post-spawn fish to me. So, th I mean, that's what I thought. There's a little bit of a shad spawn just starting, just a hair of it. And then the last hour, it was crazy how they were biting. When we came up the river, I bet we saw 10 people reeling fishing. That's wild, man. We we said today on live that the later flights were going to catch them, and sounds like that happened. Chris Rutland, Kobe Carton on top. Joey Adderhold, Tim Hatcher, boat number five, another five fish limit, 1052. Great day on the water. Good limit, good points. No, it wasn't bad. It just not a good day for us. Not a good day? See, I said it was a great day on the water. Man, come on. Any day you get we, this beautiful weather, catching a limit. We did remember our snacks. And that's important. For Martin, we forgot our snacks in the truck, and that was the best part of the day. What was the best snack? Uh, protein bars. Protein bars. That sounds terrible. I'm going to be honest. Snickers sounds way better. <laughs> way better. A Snickers protein. Is that a, is that a thing? That seems counterproductive. Uh, David Snead and Clint Carter, five fish, 1139 on the day. Like I just said to him, great day on the water, great bag of fish. Yeah, we had a one-pounder in there, though. We couldn't get rid of it. Caught them all on top water, one on a mag draft. That's all we had all day. Hey, listen, that's that's bass fishing right there. That's a good time, especially on that top water. What kind of top water? Spook. I like that. Great job. We'll see you at the next one. Ken Walters, Jason Beasley, boat number 14, another five bass limit. How are you, sir? Doing great. Five that are going to weigh 1032. We said on live today there's going to be a lot of limits. How, what do you think it'll take to get a check today? I have no idea. No idea. Practice yesterday and last weekend. We had 10 pounds with two fish, so it's totally different for us. You hope it takes 10.32 to get a check, okay? We can stop the weigh-in at any point. Corey Cole and Hayden Cole, five fish, and I'm hearing we're going to weigh one of those Mountain Dew Big Bass. Good bag of fish. Five, they're going to weigh 13.45. Great job. How we catch them? Uh, caught them on gravel. And with scrounger? Scrounger. Now, now look, I always say this on stage. When partners start to look at each other, when I ask a question, I feel like I'm getting lied to. Oh, we're, how we can start looking around, comparing notes? Basically all gravel. Okay, all gravel. All scrounger, pretty much. This entire lake's gravel, just about. Well, that's where we caught them. Yeah, you're being really random. I get it. 366, a new Mountain Dew Big Bass leader. Let's hold those up out front here. And then for Jason Durant, good job, guys. Catching them on the gravel. Gravel bite on fire. All you got to do is just go fish gravel. Great bag of fish. The McDonald's, Scott and Tom McDonald, boat number 10 up next. Yep, hold him up right here for Jason, too. He gets jealous if he doesn't get to take a picture. He puts all those on his Snapchat. The McDonald's are going to have five for 7.78. Rough, Rough day, he said. Rough day. Why was it rough? Just couldn't do anything. No, not couldn't get a big fish. No big fish, no. We got you some points, and we'll see you at the next one. That's for sure. This lake is 
loaded with fish. You're going to hear that a lot today. We're going to see a lot of limits, but catching that, really that two and a half plus size better better average fish is tough here. Trey Wade, Bradley Parnell, five that are going to go 1068. How do we catch them? Spinner bait. Man, that sounds like a good time. Every, every technique getting used at Logan Martin that we saw today and I'm hearing on stage, I'm jealous. Always a good day when you catch them on spinner bait. No doubt about it. Amen. I like that. Always a good day. We got a big fish we're going to weigh. I'm here next. John Thomas Wally, Justin Duke, boat number four. Got five that are going to go 1182. How big is it? You got a guess? Uh, three, 360. 360, he says. We got 366 as our Mountain Dew Big Bass. I see it in there, a little long and lean. Looks like a post spawner. Buddy, you were really close. 358. He said 360. You were really close. Great job today. Appreciate you fishing with us. The Alabama Bastro had an event here one time where there was 221 limits out of 225 teams. Will we eclipse that today? We've got another five bass limit for Davenport and Lightsey, 1138. How do we catch those? We caught them doing everything, scoping, fishing shallow. We just had to jump fish today. That's a little bit. I've, I've said it many times already today, but it's ADD out there. You can do whatever you want to do. Absolutely. Well, we left a few out there, too, so we got to get it together. Well, we appreciate you guys. Good points. Good bag of fish. Lucas Lindsay, Brendan Holt. Say they're going to weigh a big one here. We got five that are going to go. 1293 that's going to get you in the top 10 on the Pro Guide leaderboard. How did we catch them? Uh, we, were, we were jerking. All day. All day. Up shallow? Are we scoping? What are we doing? We live poking them. <laughs> live poking them. I, that's new. I'm. I'm. Uh, I got dibs on that T-shirt, Darian. Don't make the live poking. You want to pick the? How big is this big one? It's not big. It's not. It's not big. Are you? Is it yours or his? It's his, but just for a tiebreaker. Smart. Very smart. How big? It's got to be 366 for the Mountain Dew Big Bass right now. It's not gonna be three. We just do it for the tiebreaker. I get it. Strategery. That's what I say. Strategery. 278 on the Mountain Dew Big Bass for the tiebreaker right there. There'll be a few ties today. I guarantee it. Thank you, guys. Russell Sapp, Logan Sims, boat number 22, another five fish limit. And it's a good bag of fish, it looks like. What are they going to weigh? Any guesses? Uh, 12 and a half pounds. 12 and a half pounds. If they'll settle down, all of our anglers take great care of their fish. Sap and Sims, no exception to the rule. 1287, how did we catch those? Uh, we caught them throwing a swim bait around, throwing a spook a little bit. We we lost a couple of good ones today that would have made a difference, but that's fishing. Absolutely, and that's a great bag of fish and some great points. The top 75 in the points going to go to our Alabama Bass Trail Championship at the end of the year. So. Every point you can get right now, this third event, Miss Kay called it the hump day event. Things start to take shape after this event and the points, that is for sure. James Scott, Kenny Carroll, five fish that are going to go 828 on the day. It's never could get a big bite. Had one came off up under the boat. Why do they always do that? <laughs> they, have no, they don't respect our feelings at all, those big bass. They just seem to do that, though, don't they? Yes, they do. They always break our heart. Thank you so much. We'll see you at the next one. Chris Jackson, Mike DeRoche Jr., boat number 19, five fish, 710. We have any big ones to get off? No. <laughs> Not even any opportunities, Adam, huh? No, we just couldn't find the bigger bite. Everything we found was about the same size. Uh, throwing a spinnerbait, shaky head, a little bit of everything. It's fun on Logan Martin right now, but that can be frustrating as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll see you guys at the next one. Kirk Thomas, Harold Wells, another five fish limit, 961 on the day. Have any missed opportunities? Uh, a couple of them, but that's how it goes. Everybody has those, right? That's exactly right. Thank you, guys. See you at the next one. Nathaniel Killo. Yes, sir. I told you I nailed it. Nathaniel Killo, Isaac Goggins, Jr. <laughs> I, knew I, I knew I nailed his name this morning. 508 1099. As I was doing <laughs> blast off this morning, I said, there's no way I got that right. How'd we catch those today? Shake your head. Sounds like a good time to me. 
Shake your head. Those spotted bass, I can shake your head. Appreciate you guys fishing with us. We're going to keep things moving along here. we got a lot of limits to weigh, John. I want to talk to everybody, but it's hard today. Justin Nolly, Tommy Gunn, 641 for a five-fish limit. Yeah. You said yes. Yeah, that was a tough day. I, I just want to say uh, hey to my wife and my mom and my sister and all my family back home. I want to say hi to them, too. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. And say hi. And Jason Duran's mom. J.J. Hotwell, Steve Fultz. I like how Jason jumped in that. Three bass that weigh 438 on the day. Did we have those other two? Bad day. Bad, bad day. Bad day. Yeah. Sometimes it just happens like that. Can't get them in the boat. Hey, it's, it's, that is uh, definitely a problem. You got to you gotta get all of them in the boat that you hook for sure, John. We hear that a lot up here on the stage. Tim Windsor, Mike Smith, boat 109, 1187. Good bag of fish. It was a good day, but we uh, slung an ear on the prop at 1130. Our bigger fish were down the river, and we couldn't get to them. Just couldn't get to the better quality fish. Well, I've said, you know, that 10-pound limit, I think 8 to 10, we're going to see a lot of those. You kind of separate yourself at that 11 and 12-pound mark. So great job on the day. Sorry about the bad luck with the prop. Clinton Nail, Kevin McCaleb, boat number 32. I'm here, and we're going to weigh a big one. Five, they weigh 13, 16. Great job today. How big is it? Maybe three and a half. Three and a half. Mountain Dew Big Bass right now, 366. We've got a big spot. Oh, yeah, we like we like a bad, good one right there. Big spotted bass for 347 on the day. Coming up a little short of that Mountain Dew Big Bass. Let's hold a couple of those up. That's going to get you in the top ten on the Pro Guide leaderboard right now. Early in the way in, beautiful spots. There we go. Hold them up for Jason Duran right here, too. Those big spotty bass. That one's got a leak, in case you're wondering. It is, it's, it's leaking. How do we catch those real quick? Flipping stick. Flipping stick. Well, that sounds like a really good time. Eddie Rose, Dennis Butler, four bass today. 754. Where's that fifth one? Lost. Lost. <laughs> Lost is last year's Easter egg, as they say. Oh, well, we appreciate you guys. Well, John, we broke the limit streak. Yeah. Twice. It, it had to happen. But it just happens that way sometimes. I was really, ho I was hoping 225. I was hoping we were going to go perfect. It's a lofty goal. I get it. Another five fish limit, though, for Bailey and Lashley. 1008. Hey, listen, I, I promise you, when we've seen so many limits today, but the last couple folks come through, no limits, glad to have five. Well, as soon as the camera left, we started catching them. Who who pulled up on you with the camera? Was it Jason or Darian? Because I didn't. Probably the, other one. probably the other guy. The other guy? Yeah. It's probably Darian. It was Darian. Yeah, he, uh, he tends to bring bad luck. That's what we hear. Well, when he left, the luck come about. Did he look like he was wearing makeup? I don't know. I wasn't paying him that much. Oh, okay. Well, he probably was, and that's, he's probably scaring your fish off. I apologize. We'll try to keep that clown away from you next time, sir. Rodney Harwood, Ryan Davis, 544 for a five-bass limit. Just keepers. Man, that's it. That's it. I understand. Some days you're the windshield. Some days you're the bug in bass fishing. It's always fun to have a five-fish limit, but we're greedy as bass fishermen. We always want to catch those big ones. There ain't no big ones in there for Billy Lewis and Justin Kaiser, they say. Five for six ninety nine. What kind of uh, snacks did we enjoy today? Uh, oatmeal cream pies and bologna sandwiches. Hey, you are my kind of fishing partner. Hit me up before the next one. I'll go fishing with you instead of doing this. Eating oatmeal cream pies and bologna. That sounds like my everyday diet. That's how you get a body like this, guys. Take notes. Shane Wallace, Anthony Coley, five that are going to weigh. 12.34, good bag of fish. That's that better than average 12 pound bag. Well, we overachieved today. We thought we'd catch about 10 pounds and caught two extra pounds. So hey, when you get, when you're surprised when you get to the weigh-in, that's always a good thing when it goes in your favor. Great job on the day. And right now that's got you on the Pro Guide leaderboard top. we got one for Mountain Dew Big Bass. 3.44, going to come up a little short. Let's hold a couple up, though. Grab you a couple of those.
the seventh place, I believe, right there. Jason, 1244. We got trouble coming up next with boat 39, the Dallas boys, Trey and Justin. Well, this wild crew right here, what's up, guys? Five that weigh 751. Now, look. Whenever a brother gets hooked in the head, we catch him. But since nobody's sacrificing for the team. He won't let me do it. He won't let you do it ever again? Uh uh And I broke a big one off today, so he's getting hooked at the next tournament. I just can't let him know. At the next one, I'm going to need I'm gonna need to see a Band-Aid on a head or something. It'll be a 10 XD. <laughs> oh, 10 XD. How are you, big guy? Good. Has he ever hooked you? You can tell us. No. He hasn't? He's what about him? No. He hasn't? Well, he hooked him. I saw the pictures. I've hooked him. You've hooked him? Man, you guys, that Dallas family, you got to watch. You know, I asked that guy with the good snacks to take me fishing. Boys, y'all just don't invite me, all right? Kevin Allman, Brandon Sutton, five fish that are going to weigh 995 on the day. Was it fun out there? Yeah, we had fun. Just couldn't catch any good ones. That, that's kind of the story for a lot of people today, for sure. But a lot of fish biting on Logan Mark. Yeah, there's a bunch of fish on this lake. How do we catch them? A uh, little bit of everything. Crankbait, shaky head. Crankbait, shaky head. Crankbait, shaky head. Sounds like a good time. Thank you so much. We'll see you at the next one. Lynn Pritchard and Jackson Baker for another five fish limit. Good bag of fish. Going to get them in that Pro Guide leaderboard. Top 10 right now, 1239. Great job. Thank you. How do we catch them? Junk fishing. Junk fishing. Now, was that spinner baiting, chatter baiting, square billing, flipping? What are we doing? Every one of them come off something different. <laughs> really? Five fish, five different lures? Yep. Yep. It's that time of year. That tends to happen. We appreciate you guys. Junk Fishing 101 out there on Logan Martin. Michael Cox, Colt Boyette, five. They're going to weigh a great bag of fish. Just shy of taking the lead. Going to put them in second place. 1464. Great job. Going to weigh one for Mountain Dew Big Bass. How do we catch that 14 pounds worth of bass? Fishing boat docks. Fishing boat docks. Uh, you know, there aren't a lot of docks in the water, but when you find one, they're very popular this week. Yeah, they were in the backs of pockets, and we found that deal yesterday, late yesterday afternoon, and we just ran it, and we didn't get near as many bites as we thought we would, but when we did lean into one, it was a pretty decent one. Now, are we flipping a jig? Are we throwing a swim bait? What are we doing? Skipping a Cinco. Skipping a Cinco. I like it. All right, we... They're all cookie cutters. It's hard to decide which one might win Mountain Dew Big Bass. For Cox and Boyette, here we go. New Mountain Dew Big Bass leader, 389. 389, all cookie cutters, but all the way to second place on the Pro Guide Batteries leaderboard. If you want to go bass fishing right now, Lake Logan Martin, it's where it is at. You can get a bite out there, John. I think even you and I could catch one right now. Brady Bowden and Joseph Lacey, another five fish swimming in a good bag of fish. I'm going to put them in that pro guide top 10 right now, 1273. Great job. How we catch them? A uh, wacky rig and a shaky head. Wacky rig, are we around docks? We're fishing gravel, we're fishing points. What are we doing? We was running back of pockets for largemouth, and that bike quit about 8 o'clock, so we pulled offshore. Awesome, caught some spots after that. Let's hold a couple of those up. Right out here, got you on the top 10 on our Pro Guide leaderboard. Clay Jens and Ty Solis, another five fish limit coming up next. I'm causing us a traffic jam. It's a little bit of a traffic jam. It's okay. I blame Daniel. We'll blame Daniel and Darian. I don't know the D's. <laughs> blame both of them. I don't even know why Daniel's in trouble, but he is. I've been in trouble all day. It's got time to pass it to somebody else. Boat number 30 right here. Jens and Solis. Five that weigh 980. Lots of bites to be had out there, but quality can be tricky today. Very, very. I mean, you just need that one good kicker fish to put you out in the good money. But, you know, it's what it is. Didn't happen. Not going <laughs> to. Probably had a good day, though. Had fun. Sure did. Sure no doubt about it. We appreciate you fishing with us. Here comes the Hearst boys, Matthew and Roy. Hey, hang on a second. Let's do that again. Man, we need that for the TV show. It's awesome. Five bass at a late 1144. Great day out there. And the fan club, yes. Team Hearst in the house. I'm excited. Let's end the way in right there. Nobody else had a cheering section. Nobody ever yells for me like that. We always have a cheering section. 
I, I know this is listen that's some support right there how we catch those bass shake your head and text your rig shake your head or we texas rigging you you had to think about it i know you're gonna lie you're gonna lie so think about what you were gonna say and then tell me the truth i'm not gonna lie it was a lizard okay old school i like that it's around the spawn but throwing the lizard hold a couple of those up out here hold it up for team Hurst out here hey let's get, let's make some noise again that was fun team Hurst. team Hurst represents man Team Hurst. Do y'all have Team Hurst shirts? Are those available for sale on Facebook or something? I need a Team Hurst shirt. That way I, I'm guaranteed to get cheers if I wear a Team Hurst shirt. It would be the only time anybody ever claps for me on the ABT stage. Zach Hester and Paul Hester, boat number 49. All I've got is a shirt that says it's Fat Rascal, John. I'm a fat rascal. Five to weigh six eighty five on the day. Lots of bites to be had, but quality's tricky. Yeah, exactly. I just missed the Merlin docks or something. <laughs> you didn't get on the right boat docks. No, not at all. <laughs> well, it's uh, easy to do that at times. Yeah, absolutely. We appreciate you, man. Ricky Wagner, Jeff Adams here, and we're going to weigh a big fish, five fish coming up that are going to go nine thirty eight on the day. We got one for Mountain Dew Big Bass. Which right now is a 389. 389 on a Mountain Dew Big Bass. 309. Come up just a little bit short. They're big, pretty spotted bass, though. How'd we catch those today? A little bit of everything. Kitchen sink. Yes. Crank in. Um, shake your head, drop shot. So. A fun day, though. Oh. Junk fishing. That is the theme of the day. Larry Bullock, Dale Westmoreland, boat number 27, five fish limit, 916, just off the path that it's going to take to get a check. Probably had a really fun day out there. Well, we, you know, it was a fun day, but we'd like to get a check. We always like to catch those big ones and take that money home, right? Thank you all for being with us, and we'll see you at the next one. Boat 43, James Pitts, Jonathan Moncus, five fish, 856. They had that, that disease, they say. Yeah. You know what disease it is? Yeah, the tail was too close to the head. Yeah, that's what my dad used to say all the time to me. Yep. Yeah, we struggled today. We caught them early on a frog. No grass, but a frog. Hey, that sounds like a good time, even if they're not the size you want them to be, a frog bite. Yep. Nothing wrong with that, right? We had fun. That's all that matters, having fun out there in the Alabama Bass Trail. Ty Story and Chuck Douglas, five fish that are going to go 834. Didn't get the size we wanted, but we got a limit. Is there a little fish competition? Hey, we can start one right now if you want to. You can pay me the entry fee. It's uh, $500. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. But now I wanted to say something. Um, I know we ended our day a couple of hours early because we wanted to help one of our friends that um, he needed weight. He had 11 or 12 pounds. So I just wanted to shout out to fishermen and say, hey, this is what it's all about. We want to help each other. It cost us two hours in our, our day, but... You know, I'm glad, you know, God puts it in us to be able to help each other out. And that's that's what we wanted to do and help them. It hurt their day, too, because they ended up uh, having boat problems. So I wanted to shout shout that out and just let everybody know we need to make sure that we're not jerks out there. So no doubt about it. And we got to pay it forward, right? Because it could be you the next time. Exactly. And that that's a, a good point. So and I want to speak to my wife and three daughters that are watching online. So, hey, everybody. <laughs> Shout out. Hey, y'all give these guys a round of applause helping out their fellow ABT anglers. We got a bag coming up right here. I spent my first part of my morning, instead of having, you know, enjoying a morning coffee, I got to spend it with you boys. Absolutely smacking bass. Josh Chappell, Paul Davis, they're going to take the lead right now with 1952. And I'd say we called a couple times after I saw you. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. Yeah, I caught a big one kind of late, and he caught one last stop so so we saw you guys fishing offshore this morning doing several different things offshore you know shallow but offshore then i saw you fishing shallow fishing some boat docks what did we do to upgrade this afternoon went back offshore went back offshore <laughs> yeah well we're gonna need to weigh one for mountain new big bass for 581 and let's hold those up let's Ooh, i want to hold that one can i hold that one please i'm getting one of those 1952 
for Chapel and Davis, always a threat everywhere we go, but especially right here. They caught one so close to my boat on live this morning, I set the hook when they did. And then I tried to net it. Yeah, I'm, listen, you're not taking a picture without me. Right there. Chapel and Davis. I'm going to hold them up right here for Jason Duran. I feel like I was a part of this today. I could have netted one of those at one time. Great job, guys. I'm sure we will talk to you all again here shortly. Great job. Chapel and Davis moved to the top of that pro guide leaderboard. Mike Scroggins, Terry Crabb, boat number 44. Five that are going to go 992 on the day. That's a tough act to follow right there. There's nothing worse in bass fishing tournaments than having to follow the guy that catches the tournament leading bag when you don't catch what you wanted to. Same thing happened the last time. I followed the guys that come in second place. You're going to have to time it out better, or you got to take the lead. Take the lead. That sounds good. That's the, that's the better change of plan right there. I like it. Thank you so much for fishing with us. Matt McClung, Brian Ace, oh, great bag of fish. Going to get you just right outside of that Pro Guide Top 10, 1269 on the day. Great job. Not bad. We needed one kicker. No doubt about it. He needed one of those 581s. Man. Not a lot of those to go around out there. Yeah, but we're happy. We caught well, all that we weighed in after lunch. So. That's, a, that's a good day, man. A way to rebound. Great job. Good points in the deal to get you towards that championship. Dillian Singleton, Britt Williams, five fish, 513. Noah said I need to borrow one of your rooster jigs next time. There, there you go. Hey, I promise you. I need some help, man, obviously. <laughs> we'll get them next time. I promise you. Brian Adamson and Ryan Lloyd. Great bag of fish. Going to put them in the top five right now. 14-23. Show up and show out. I like it. Hey, we'll take it. It got tough after lunch, man. We couldn't do nothing right. <laughs> See, the last guy just told me he called him after lunch. So you guys should talk, try to put your plans together. Well, maybe, you know, we spotted bass fish this morning and went looking for large heads. That's what we come to do. And we went back spotted bass fishing. So when you say looking, were you actually looking, trying to sight fish? Yeah, we was looking. So we had this argument all day on live today. Are these fish actually spawning with the low water? And we started to see that as live went on. A lot of folks trying to sight fish. So there are, are there a lot of them up there, or do you think the majority are waiting on the water to get full? We decided they're waiting on the water because you, you can catch a little buck bass, but the females ain't up there from what we saw. Okay. All right. We're trying to piece this puzzle together. Yeah, grab you a couple of those up. John King and Chris Gregory. He was trying to get he was trying to get a sandwich and you stopped him, Daniel. He was almost to lunch. Or early dinner. Well you ever you want to call it this I don't even know what time it is. I don't even know what lake we're on. John. John King. <laughs> Chris Gregory. Five the way eight sixty nine. Another five bass limit coming across the stage. Can you believe there were a couple guys that broke our limit streak? You guys kept it alive. <laughs> yeah. How'd we catch them? Uh, everything we threw, we caught them on. We just couldn't catch no big ones. That seems to be the case. And like the last fella said, waiting on the water. That seems to be the, the theme for some of the bigger fish. Chase Gregory, Copeland Rosser, boat number 50, 10 02 for five fish. Good bag. Struggled all day. We didn't get the bites. and. I don't know. Tough day for us. So a lot of not a lot of numbers of bites or quantity or quality. Not at all. We didn't get near the bites we thought we were, and weren't as big as we thought they were going to be. So. Well, we'll see you at the next one. Tyler Malone and Cade Law. I'm here, and we're going to weigh a big one. Another good bag of fish. Going to move them into second place right now with 15. 29 on the day. Great job, boys. It was terrible this morning. About lunch, everything went perfect. So, well, so describe to me the terrible. What was terrible? Were we breaking fish off? Did we leave the snacks in the boat? Did we, no gas in the boat? What's terrible? They was not biting this morning. Let's just say that. Uh, we, I think we had eight pounds till about 12, and then that big one came into play, and then as soon as we caught the big one, it was like every cast would catch a fish. What the big one bite? Uh, big swim bait. Big swim bait. Are we talking big glide bait, mag draft? Glide. 
Big Glide, okay. All right. And we have a new Mountain Dew Big Bass that bit a Glide, 589. Let's hold those bad boys up. Great job. Big swim baiters right there. Ah, me. Look at that. That one hadn't spawned yet. That one hadn't spawned. She might have been thinking about it. Malone and Lowell right there. Absolutely catching them this year. Steve Fincher, Austin Rich. Boat number 28, another good bag. 12.08 on the day. That kind of separates you from a lot of the pack. Man, it was tough. Guys say they caught them in the morning. Evening, it was a morning deal for us. After 9.30, I don't think we caught a, a keeper maybe. We caught a bunch of shorts, but we went looking and couldn't find any. So We did see that on live a little bit this morning with the teams we covered. There was a little bit of a morning bite. Will we catch them on this morning? Spook, chatterbait, and then once the sun come up, we had to move offshore a little bit and drag a Carolina rig. I mean, it was just – Junk fishing, really. Junk fishing 101 here on Logan Martin on the Coosa River. Dustin McKinney, John Walker, five that are going to weigh 12 even. We catch those junk fishing? Boat docks. Fishing boat docks, all right. A lot of boat dock fishing. What, we, what are we using under the docks? Uh, shake your head. Shake your head on a spinning rod? Yep. What pound line? I had a uh, 15-pound braid and 10-pound fluoro. Do you ever get scared you're going to break one off? Every time. Every single time he set the hook. Mark Ivy, James Foley, five that are going to weigh 889. How do we catch them? All on plastics except one crankbait, and that was about 10 minutes ago. Just no big fish? No no big fish, but we caught them morning and all the way through the day. Just no good size see all these guys are saying in the morning and the afternoon y'all just straight smacked them all day long just couldn't get the quality on it we appreciate y'all fishing with us and we'll see you at the next one mark mckeg and tim hurst absolutely fixing to rocket your way to second place on the pro guide leaderboard with 1605 we've done this a couple times yeah I, we have thank thankfully enough we've we've had some fortune in this trail but we knew we didn't have near enough today. We figured it would take 18 or 19 pounds. Uh, we've caught them all day long. We caught them on our first stop to our last stop. I mean, we called in the last 30 minutes one of our smaller ones. You know, it's just we've. I bet we caught 40 or 50 fish today. It's amazing, and I know you've got so much experience here, you and Tim. How many bass are in this pond with the pressure it takes? There's a lot of events here, but, man, it kicks them out. It does. I asked him today, I said, do you think maybe there's so many fish in here, that's why you don't catch really giant stringers here very often? Because, I mean, if there's three fish up there, you know the smallest one's getting it every time. Yeah. You know, I don't know if that's the case, but we caught a bunch of fish today. This is a lot of fun to fish here in April. How would we catch them? We caught them. I think a lot of our fish were on bed. A lot of them were up there getting ready to spawn. Uh, the lo we went largemouth fish. We stopped and fished on a spotted bass place. They weren't really there. We caught one, two something. We went largemouth fish until about 1030, and then we had two, two somethings in the box then. And I said, you know, me and Tim both knew we could probably catch a couple, two and a half to three pounders to cull them with. We went out there and did that, and then we went back largemouth fishing. So I don't know. We, we caught them a little bit of every way, you know, but it just we didn't get that really big bite. Our big fish is a – not even a four-pounder, probably. Like we see with Chapel and Davis, that 580 kind of puts you over that mark. Yeah, I hope my buddies win this thing. We room with them, stay with them a lot. We, we joke with them. They're the kings of second. I think they got this. Oh, boy. It sounds like you buying dinner tonight, Mark McKay. Let's hold a couple up right here. I know 16 pounds, Mark McKay's like, eh, he's going to hold a couple up. Second place for the legends, Mark McKay and Tim Hurst. It doesn't get better than these two. Gentleman right here. Of course, Tim's hiding out. He's like, ah, we're going to finish second. I'm not getting my picture made. Makes Mark do the heavy lifting. Hold him up right here for Jason Duran. Spencer Morris and James Morris. Four bass. Four good ones. 1131. Now, listen. I'm not going to pour salt in the wound, but we've seen a lot, a lot of limits. We've had a lot of guys say, Man, we caught a ton of fish. We couldn't catch the quality. Why do we have four bass? And we got four good ones. F fish maintenance mishaps. So so we lost a couple. Let's blame the hooks. Well, let's just blame the hooks. You want to? Too sharp. Too sharp for hooks? Yeah, just went right through. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I got you. I got you on this. Mark Ammons, Terry Harris, five bass, weigh 11, 21. Great job. Thank you. How we catch them? Crankbait. 
where your hook's dull because he says two sharp hooks make you lose them. I lost four. <laughs> you had sharp hooks too then. Too sharp. <laughs> Eric Farnham. Cameron Givens, good bag of fish right here. Twelve ninety nine, going to get you right in there in that Pro Guide leaderboard top ten right now. How we catch those? Uh, pretty much all on shaky head, I believe, and then uh, just fishing a bunch of rock, pretty much rocks and bridges. Rocks and bridges for twelve ninety nine. Great job today, boys. Yeah, get a picture right here. Going to get you in the top ten real quick. Top ten. Let's get a picture. Boat number 48, the Fulgums. Jeffrey and Jacob, I'm right out here, guys. Boat number 48, Jeffrey and Jacob. Come on up here, guys. Eight even. It is what it is. Caught a four and a half in practice and then started shaking that stuff off and could never find a bigger bite again. See, that's why I think that you should be able to weigh at least some during practice, right? Like text text us some pictures. That way we know. I always felt like that when I was fishing a lot of tournaments. I'm like, man, some of the best days are during practice. This stinks. James Watson would have been proud, though. Would he? James Watson would have been proud. Boat docks. Watson would have been proud. Do you think he's watching right now? Maybe. I, doubt, I don't. I doubt it. I don't know. He really likes me, man. He's he's uh, he weirdly obsessed with me. Like, he messages me all the time. I'm like, dude, leave me alone. Why do you show up at my house and stand on the porch and look in the windows? It's, it's, uh, he's an odd bird. So you're saying you're his only friend? I'm his only friend, and he's, yes, <laughs> indeed. He's deranged in the head. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Eric Summers and Robbie Pelt. 12.95 on the day, just shy of 13 pounds. It's going to separate separate you from a lot of the masses right there. Yeah, we, we worked hard for them. I promise you, we did. It was um, they wouldn't chase today for us, but we slowed down and we caught them. So it seemed like we saw a lot of dragging going on out there, really having to slow down. Is that because of the water level or all these crazy weather changes? I think it's a cold front this morning. Um, I was on a pretty good spook bite, and um, I threw it all day begging for a big one to get up, but wouldn't do it. So. You just, I guess it's the cold front to come in. It's the conditions change. Thank you, guys. Willie Thornton, Lewis Thornton, Jr., boat number 56, 1083 on the day. How do we catch those? On flats. Crank. On flats. What kind of crankbait? Lipless. Okay, that sounds like a good time. It was for a while. <laughs> for a while. For a while, he says. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you guys fishing with us here in the Alabama Bass Trail, presented by Phoenix Boats, Jimmy Sims and Jared Sims. Going to have five that go just shy of 12 pounds. That's, listen, we're going to see a lot of eight, nine, and 10 pound bags, but that 11 plus mark is going to separate you some. Okay. Well, it was a fun day, so we'll see what happens. No doubt about it. Hopefully it shakes out in your favor today. We're going to pay 40 places here this afternoon. Over $65,000 is going to be handed out and pay out. Jeff Cannon, Marty Colley, boat 72. 981. Just needed one of those Logan Martin lunkers. A good one, too. <laughs> Need an old big one right there. 589 on the Mountain Dew Big Bass right now. Well, we got a good bag of fish coming right here. Andrew Hall and Michael Allen. Just shy of 13 pounds. 1290 on the day. Better than a stick in the eyes, what I say. Shoot, yeah. We were happy. I mean, caught a bunch of fish, just couldn't get a kicker. Just needed one of those five plus. Yes, sir. How we catch them? Uh, Chatterbait and a shaky head. Sounds like a fun day out there on the Coosa River. Thank you, guys. We'll see you at the next one. Daryl and Tammy Eichner, five bass. Come on up here, guys. Five that are going to go 727 on the day. Hey, Luke, I got to tell you, you know, if you remember down in Jordan, she told me she needed a new partner, so she put me to work today. <laughs> Did he, he, it was him today? He caught them all. 
Well, now you're never going to hear the end of that, Tammy. You know that. Right. Well, I I had to do the uh, get the net. I had to tie. He would break off stuff. So I'm I'm doing good at time. You were working. See, y'all give a round of applause to Tammy for putting up with this, okay? <laughs> he didn't pull his weight at Jordan, and he pulled his weight today, but he still made it work. Thank you, guys. Luther Murphy, Jeremy Nobles, five that are going to go 11-20 on the day. How are you? Good. I like that hat. Thank you. Do you have any girlfriends? No. Are you sure? No. Are any out here running around? No. Do you like to catch bass? Yeah. What do you like to catch bass on? What bait? Jim bait. Oh. What's your favorite kind of ice cream? Chocolate. Chocolate. You didn't have to think about that one too long. Mine too, buddy. Thank you, guys. Zach Harrison, Kristen Harrison. Good bag of fish right here. Thirteen ninety-five. Going to take you all the way to seventh place right now on the Pro God leaderboard. Good job, guys. Come on in here. Now, who did all the damage today? Me. I did have the biggest, and I called last. Listen, it's going to be a long ride home, buddy. Okay. It sounds like it. So what did the big one come on? Uh, shaky head. What kind of bait did we have on the shaky head? I had a googan worm. Googan worm. Okay, what color? Natural. Yeah, let's, let's hold those up right there. 451 on a Mountain Dew Big Bass, big large mouth. Great job. Harrison's, Zach and Kristen. Zach is going to hear it all the way home because Kristen caught the big one, did all the work. <laughs> Once again, he says, right out of here. In the top ten on the Pro Guide leaderboard. Up next, we've got the Carters, Garrett and Gene, boat number 58. How are you, sir? Five that are going to go 778. Would you like to blame your partner? I would. I mean, I know you're probably family, obviously. Yeah, we're going to blame him. Let's do that. What did he do that we can uh, kind of put on him? Did he lose fish? Did he forget to pack the right baits? No enough gas in the boat? He didn't hold his mouth right. He didn't hold his mouth right. I've, I've heard that before, you know. They say, man, everybody was catching them around me, and I didn't get a bite. You weren't holding your mouth right. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. Thank you, guys. Dan Graham, Richard Chavez, five bass. That are going to go 10 4 double digits. Got in the double digits right there. How'd we catch those? On a Cinco and a Chatterbait. Tis the season. It's the time of year for the Cinco and the Chatterbait. Hearing that a lot today. Tyler Smart, Andrew Maddox, another five fish limit on the day. How are you, brother? Come on up here. Just snuck into the double digits right there, 10 pounds even. Barely got in there. It was just a frustrating day. We stuck some good fish, but we just didn't get them in a the boat. So, How did we lose them? Uh, one of them was on top. One of them was on a Cinco. I don't know. They just pulled off. They're finicky right now. So. Just sometimes that's how it goes, right? Do you want to blame your partner uh, since he didn't come up here? We will. It was both of us, but I'll blame him since he ain't standing here. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Ricky Dunn, Trent Davis. Five bass, they're going to go 1092. Both of you guys came up here, so we can't blame each other. But if you would like to, I mean, we can turn it to UFC if you don't want to arm wrestle. Whose fault was it that we didn't catch more? It's a great bag of fish, but it's got to be somebody's fault, right? Uh, we we called all day. We just uh, it slowed down after the morning, and we we had that one good fish, but we never could get any more. Just needed some friends to go with it. Great job today. Good points towards our championship. Former winners on the ABT right here, Lanier Burton and Kelly J. Five, they're going to go 10-35 on the day. Kelly, step right over here. Not what we're used to seeing from you on the Coosa River, but, man, this water level and everything, it's really crazy out there on Logan Martin. There are fish biting, but the quality seems to be hard to come by. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. You know, you got fish spawning, pre-spawn, post-spawn. I mean, they're suspended. I mean, they're everywhere. 
Uh, it's tough. Like you catch a lot of fish, just like we did today. You just you got to get that good four or five pounder. You know, put you over the hump, and it just didn't happen today. But it's an awesome fishery. I love it. You can catch all you want. I mean, however you want to fish, you can catch them. It's great. But just getting that big was tough right now. How many did you catch on a jerk bait today? Probably thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. I knew the answer right there, Kelly J. Alex Pruitt, Calvin Reese, five that are going to go ten o two. Uh oh, look. You got the fat. Listen, let's hear it again. I love it. I love it, man. I don't fish for him, though. <laughs> you can, hey, look, we got a double digit limit. That's okay. There's a lot of folks that would love to have that right now. Hey, it was tough. We caught a lot of fish, though. We did. We caught a lot of fish. Just couldn't get those big ones. I feel like you better give a shout out to the fan club out there. I'm just saying, you better start dropping names. And curse over there. I know, but you, I'm just saying. They hollering. Hey, they always holler. We appreciate y'all. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, guys. Team Hurst in the house for sure. Jeff Jennings and Mitchell Jennings, great bag of fish. Headed all the way to second place on the Pro Guide leaderboard with 1688. Great job. And we're going to weigh one for Mountain Dew Big Bass. Is it going to beat 589 on the day? I uh, doubt it. How did we catch these fish today? Uh, it started pretty good this morning on boat docks and then got slow, so we made some changes and then didn't catch fish for a while and then changed back to the boat docks and caught. we called three times and caught that big one. The big one's going to go 521 for a Mountain Dew Big Bass. going to be just shy of that, but great fish. Those five-pounders are hard to come by. We've seen a lot of limits today, but quality seems to be missing. What kind of bait did the five-pounder eat? Uh, big swim bait. Are we talking glide bay? Are we talking soft swim bay? Well, we, you, you're getting secretive, I can tell. You're kind of tensing up a little bit. What kind of glide bait? I caught it on a glide bait, yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I love. Let's hold them up. Second place for Jennings and Jennings. Great bag of fish all the way to second place. Sixteen eighty-eight for the Jennings crew. I'm gonna put them in second place. Things are starting to heat up for sure. Jackie Price, Daryl Witherspoon. Here we go again. Five the way nine sixty-one. You got the. You got the. It's all family. All family. All family. I love it. Thank you guys for fishing with us. We got a traffic jam right here. We're gonna have to roll through them. Thank you guys so much, Team Hurst. I'm just gonna keep doing that. I like it. Ryan McCullough, Riley McCullough. I have a, one of my good friends is named Ryan McCullough. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sawyer McCullough. 5 that way, 605. Not the size we needed, guys, but good points. We'll see you at the next one. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you guys. Boat number 155 coming up next. Mike McCullough's Slade McCullough's going to be just shy of 10 pounds and not the day we were looking for with 996, but on to the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Eric Staggs, Tyler Caton, five that are going to go 965. Not the day we wanted. Not the day we wanted, but still a good day. A lot of fun out there on Logan Martin right now, for sure. We are stacking them up here in the tanks right now. Don Brown, Trey Soils, five fish, good bag of fish, 1269. How did we catch those today? Uh, we just had a lot of fun, but uh, we almost got robbed. We had to get back here pretty quick. We pulled into a little bit of a slough there must have been 30 kids out there throwing bobbers and they couldn't quite reach us one bank we flipped over about four and a half pounds i could have sworn i saw a tomato and a rotten egg go by so we kind of went on from there so probably missed a couple of more from there but uh just couldn't get anything else big just a wild day out there on the pond all the way around brett hart and ricky hart five that are going to go 987 on the day, guys. We appreciate y'all fishing with us. We'll see y'all down the road. Y'all have fun today? Yeah, we had a good time. Absolutely. Appreciate y'all coming up here, bringing us some bass today. Say so stack up at the tanks. Stephen Navarre and Chris Heathcox, five bass in the double digits here, 1142. Good job today. How we catch those? Man, a little bit of everything. We, uh, we had a pretty good pre-fishing and, and uh, got out there today in bluebird skies and not much wind. It was a little bit tough to catch them, but uh, we still had a good time. 
uh, scrounged up to get what we had, so we're lucky to have that. So. Well, it's a good bag of fish, good points towards that top 75. Alan Yarbrough, Chance Perry, 5 that way, 631. And you know what? you got a great mustache, and we'll see you at the next one <laughs> with six pounds on the day. That's a great mustache. That is a great mustache. I can't pull off a mustache. Got a terrible chin, you know, but that's a great mustache. No doubt about it. Charlie Cummings, Sammy Bailey, boat number 82, 1161. How we catch those? Fishing shallow wood. Shallow wood, all right. On the day, 1161 for you. 1345 to be in our Pro Guide leaderboard. Pro Guide Batteries top 10 right now. Tim Taylor, Philip Morris, good bag of fish. It's going to put them. In the top five, 1472. Great job, guys. How about we catch those? Texas rig crawfish. Upper Texas rig crawfish. Down piers, yeah. What color? Uh, tilapia magic. Okay, tilapia magic. Let's hold those up out here. Great job for Taylor and Morris in the top five right now. 1472. Straight out front and then to Jason Duran right here. They like to hide in those Crush City weigh-in bags, which I, I mean, I'm sure they get embarrassed. You know, they're like they, like you fool them once, and you gotta you ride them around, you put them in a bag, bring them up here to my ugly self. Aaron Smith and Scott DeBreeze, five that goes 747. Not the day we wanted, but valuable points. Valuable points, and then, um, like I said, broke off a few, and uh, just tough day. It's just how it goes sometimes out there. On Logan Martin, no practice can make it tough. Chris Hutcherson, B.J. Marvets, five good ones right here. 1427, going to put you in sixth place right now. Actually, seventh. Let's hold those up right here. Got you on the top ten. Pro God leaderboard, top ten right there. Bryant Holcomb and Wade Hornsby up next as I cause a traffic jam yet again on the stage. Hold them right out here. And then those are some pretty spotted bass. We've got to show those things off right here. Jason Duran in the corner. Holcomb and Hornsby. Daniel's going to sleep good tonight, John. He's running around all over the place. 10.53 for Holcomb and Hornsby. Thank you, guys. Appreciate y'all fishing with the Alabama Bass Trail. Jason Sapp and Wally Bell, boat 97 up next. Five that are going to go. 8.16. Did we eat any good snacks today? One pack of crackers. One pack of crackers? That was it. I was too busy calling a little fish. Trying to catch a big one. We were. Absolutely. That's the name of the game. Thank you, guys. Jeff Ritchie, Matt Ritchie, boat 79. Five fish that are going to go 734. Did y'all have a fun time out there? <laughs> I don't know if you call that fun. <laughs> well, you got some bites. Getting to fish right here, family in the boat. That's awesome. Fish my son. That's the only fun we had today. No doubt about it. Well, he, what, you think he'll blame you on the way home? No. No, you know better because you want to go fishing again. That's smart. It's a good, smart young man right there. Justin Mott and Mark Mott. Five that are going to go 11 21. Good job. I'll take that all day. What we catch them on? We call them cranking mostly. Square billing? No, no, deep cranking. Like deep, deep cranking? Deep, deep cranking. We're talking like 16, 17 feet. Okay, there's still some hanging around out there. Tony Luke, Fred Dyer, five that are going to go. Do you want me to call it out? No. 37 pounds. Okay. <laughs> five pounds, 538 for Luke and Dyer. Thank you, guys. Hunter Davidson, Larry Davidson. Five fish that are going to go 921. Just couldn't get the quality. That's right. <laughs> it didn't get you around them today. You guys weren't around big ones. No, we just needed another big one, I guess. Y'all need to fight all the way home. <laughs> sort it out. Let's see you at the next one. Matt Maddox and Bill Maddox. 
Boat number 90, another five fish limit. Five that are going to go. I, you don't even want me to you don't want me to, I yell it out? Okay. All right. I don't even have to yell it out. They weigh 30 pounds. You didn't want to hear it. 31 pounds. Sorry. You ran away before you won the tournament. Brandon Jones, Jared Wilson, five fish. Good bag of fish. Going to put them just shy of the Pro Guide leaderboard. Top 10. 1354. How did we catch those? I uh, call them shallow all day. We talking a foot of water? Or less. I like that. Shallow water fishing. I see some good fish coming up here. Chad Ray, Todd Price. 12-10 on the day. Great bang. A lot of good points right there. Better than average limit. Yes. I've been complaining about the wind Thursday and Friday, and today we're sitting there praying for it. Begging for it. That, hey, mate, you know what you sound like? A fisherman right there for sure. Hate the wind until you need it. The McMichaels, Edgar and Dale, five that are going to go, 902 on the day. 902 for a five fish limit. No kickers to be found, but lots of bass out in Logan Martin for all of our teams here. So far, we have had three teams not weigh a limit. John, I remember that. It's easy to remember today. A lot of five fish limits. Here come them Godwin boys, Noah and Cole. 12-10 on the day, just never could get that kicker. No, we had some good bites. We just couldn't keep them hooked. Uh, I'm not sure what the deal was. We we had bites on about 10 different baits trying to get them hooked on something, and we just we couldn't get them in the boat. Heard you lost a couple on some braid this morning. You thought they might not bite again because of it. What were we throwing on braid, and how did we lose them? I don't know. Cole lost a big one this morning swimming a jig on her boat dock, and he stuck her hard. I thought she was coming in the boat, but that wasn't the case. You get to blame him all the way home, though. Blame Cole. That's right. That's right. It's Cole's fault. Michael Bryant, Mike Garrett, five that are going to go. 1173. 1173 on the day. How'd we catch those? Uh, caught them with spinnerbaits and worms and just needed three kickers. All over the place. Needed three kickers. Jace Thompson, Thomas Eden, boat 108. Good bag of fish, just shy of 14 with 13.93 and just outside of our Pro Guide leaderboard, top 10. That's, that's a good day. I'd say you'll get a paycheck with that today on a tough day to catch those better than average bites. Well, hopefully he'll get one for his birthday anyway. Oh, that's right. Happy birthday, sir. I, I've heard we're going to have a cake if you get a check. I'm just kidding. Jason was going to go to Publix and get one. He's got us. If, if, if there's not a cake, it's Jason's fault. Mike Freeman and Zach Freeman, five that are going to weigh nine twenty-five. They're already starting to walk away. I know, I know that look. I've had it many times on the weigh-in stage. The limit parade continues here at stop number three of the Alabama Bass Trails South Division. Scott Parkinson, Brian Stewart, five that are going to weigh eight sixty-one. Headed to the house. It's points. <laughs> it's points and headed to the house. I understand that. Points are important. The top 75 going to go to our championship at Lay Lake later this year. Quilly Trot, Neil Davis, five that are going to go. You want me to call it out? I will. You're here for the small back. Well, it's a $500 entry fee that you have to pay me, and then you have to pay Darian another $5,000 winner. Yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, you're out. Seven sixty-one on the day for Trot and Davis. Boat 105. Boat 105, the Kalers, Joey and David. Five that are going to go. 921. Needed one of those five-pounders out there. Just couldn't get it today. Didn't lose any? Nope, didn't lose one today. It's never happened. Just got a bunch of bites. It's fun on Logan Martin, though. A lot of fish caught, just uh, nothing to help us with the five we already had. No doubt about that. A lot of fish to be caught on Logan Martin. Leonard McGuire and Ellis Hooper. Double digits, 10-10 on the money. Not too bad. Not too bad. Good day out there on Logan Martin. Appreciate you. Boat 118, Douglas Stevens and Jacob Wood. Great bag of fish. Going to put them in that pro guide leaderboard. Tenth place spot, 1402. How do we catch those? Everywhere. Everywhere, <laughs> everywhere? Everywhere, yeah. 
Shallow, deep? Uh, mostly shallow. God graced us with one because we uh, saw it under a dock. Spent about 30 minutes trying to catch it. Never did get it to bite, so we left. Come back later. Still there. He first cast under there. It bites. Starts swimming. Loads up. Comes off. So he's, you know, crying in the floor of the boat. and I, As he should have been. And you should have been mad at him. Well, I just calm and collected, grabbed the rod, eased up under the walkway, skipped my Senko up under there, and caught our biggest one. So you caught the fish he lost? No, I think they were different fish. Okay, okay. I, I was hoping it was the same fish because, man, that was going to be a fun ride home. St still worked out. Still worked out. Top ten right now. Mark LaPlan and Tim Knowles up next five. That way, eight. 67 on the day and you you're right he's running from me oh man i gotta tell you a story so he gets his rattle trap hung up we're up river and the water's running he's like back up back up i was, you know, I was like so I'm, I'm backing up i ain't really paying no damn attention i'm just backing up that dang boat gets square with a stump i go flying into the floorboard head first when I got up off the floor, he's gone. He's out there swimming like a duck. <laughs> he done, he done put a my, Michael Phelps on you. I'm telling you, man, that that was the fear in his face. It was it was something. I'm telling you. Did you? Yeah, was it a fist fight after that, or did we, because I wouldn't want to get. Now listen, I ain't sizing nobody up, but I wouldn't fight Tim. <laughs> No, oh no. I'd fight with him like in a tag team, but I ain't fighting Tim. I just wish I had I had the GoPros going, you know. I didn't have them going. I wish I'd have had them going. Did you have to get him back in the boat? Oh yeah, yeah. How'd that work out? I, I mean, know. obviously he's here. Yeah. Well, I just drug him up on there like a whale, just <laughs> pulled him up on. You've got that upper body strength. I like it. Need to get on your your workout program. <laughs> Autry, Mike Freeman, you never know out there, John Simpson. Crazy things happening on Logan Martin. 1040 on the day. You needed a Tim Knowles sized bass in your bag. Yeah, we didn't. We saw a couple, but I don't think it would have got us much more than 12. So we, we got about what we caught. Absolutely. Have a great ride home. Be safe. Thanks for fishing with us. Danny Kirk, Will Kirk, we're rolling through them here. Stop number three, 968 for five bass. Not the ones you wanted, I guess. Nah, I just couldn't find the big ones today. That's how it goes out there right now. Lots of bites to be had. If you want to go bass fishing somewhere right now, Logan Martin is where it's at, though. I can promise you, you want to get a bite. Clay Harris, Joe Williams, another five fish limit, 781 on the day. <laughs> You're just shaking your head. You're just shaking your head. I get it. Hey, I've lived it multiple times. That's why I get to talk about bass fishing and not fish so many tournaments. I've had too many bad weigh-ins. Jeff Morgan, Tim Vanigman, five, they're going to weigh 1086. 1086, oh, well. Caught about 50. That's the best we could do. 1086, oh, well. Only caught 50. 50, but we got 1086. Hey, Logan Martin's a good time, though. Good time out there. Xavier McKinney and Lonnie Vincent, five that are going to go 955. How many did y'all catch? Maybe about eight or ten, but. It still just couldn't get that big one. Just couldn't get the kicker. Well, we appreciate y'all being here, fishing with us. Frank Bradfield, Tyler Morgan, boat 106. Come on up here, guy. Another good bag of fish. 1375. Had some better than average fish in that bag. Did we have one kicker? Or were they all good ones? We caught two and a half pounders pretty much all day and never got a big bite, so I'm pretty happy with it. Well, you know, we said that on the podcast, Kay and I, earlier this week. There's a lot of two-pounders in this lake. Getting those two-and-a-half pluses, those does separate you on the leaderboard. No, we knew we needed the big bite to really be up there, but it, we never got it, so it is what it is. How did we catch most of those? Up the river, flipping all day, half-ounce jig. That sounds like a really good way to catch a bass in a fun way. Thank you, guys. Great job. Justin Coker and Evan Robbins, five. They're going to go 8.53 on the day. I see the big exhale. You're like, ah, yeah, no fun. No fun. Catch a lot of fish, though? Yeah. Yep, a lot of fish. Well, we'll see you at the next one. Absolutely. Here comes trouble. Buck and Amanda Williams. Nice of you to join us, Amanda. Boat number 94. Why is it? No, no, you listen to me. Why is it that every time I call your boat number, you could be boat 200, you could be boat 7 or 70, I'm like, Buck and Amanda. Buck and Amanda. Every time. Y'all are never in the water. You're never there by the takeoff boat. Where are y'all at? 
we are here, but I'm gonna tell you what, never ever drink a monster coffee drink first thing. That's not good. And then and on top of that, Buck had to park in Alex City and walk back down here, so we were just a little bit behind. All right, so you're blaming Buck. Well no, no, because yeah, you are. the coffee. Yeah, you are. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you are. It is Buck's fault. It always is. It's always Buck's fault, Amanda says. Thank y'all. Seven forty eight on the day. We'll blame Buck for that. that yeah, well, it, I think it was at 30, and then John took his hand off of it, and it went to 740. You can blame John and Buck. <laughs> Brent Cottle and Nick Robinson, boat number 111, 1134. And you guys were there when I called your boat number. What? Y'all were there when I called your boat number this morning. You came right by. We weren't like those last delinquents. They're never there. We appreciate y'all showing up. <laughs> we appreciate it. Daniel Fogle, Chris Pearson. Five fish for nine twenty nine on the day, just a little off the mark. Just needed four more bites. See, <laughs> just four more. I like that. Had five, we just needed four more. I'm using that next time that Darian takes me to a tournament and he doesn't pull his weight. Kyle Searcher, Derek Benz, did I say that right? Shushard. Shushard, man, that is so. That's that's a that's a tough one for a redneck from Tennessee. I'm not gonna lie. Five great fish, 1369 for Shushard. There you go. Uh huh. Better? Yeah, it was a good day. Uh, started off real slow. Our first uh, first spot was all blown out, so uh, kind of got a little nervous in the beginning, but uh, we put it together by the end of the day, so it was good. Great bag. How'd we catch those? Uh, we, we, uh, were you're thinking about too much. I feel like you're lying. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. We were fishing points, but we, uh, we figured out that they're kind of slid off the deep end of them, so we we're fishing the main channel. On the, on the rock, so it was, uh, it was good, though. Great day, great points, and we'll see you at the next one. Charlie Williams and Michael Smith. So I can say that. They have those kind of names in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Shoe Shard is very fancy. 12.38 for five on that. How we catch those? Just on a worm, just on a worm. Just a worm, a Tommy Swindle worm. Trouble coming up next, our 2023 ABT North Angler of the Years, John Kelly, Zeke Gossett, 1351 on the day. Listen, we've got trackers on you guys, and I tried to catch up with you two or three times, but there was a lot of this and that and this and that, a lot of zigging and zagging on the day trying to find five bass that'll win this thing. Yeah, we, we covered a lot of water today. <laughs> back and forth, down, up, down, up. I think we ended up back down there. So. Just never could get settled in and find that big kicker that you need on this lake. No, we had a we had a couple nice ones today. It would have helped tremendously, but sometimes it don't. It just works like that. It doesn't shake out. Still a great bag of fish and great points. We'll see you guys at the next one. Always a threat to win here. So a lot of guys just took a ah, sigh of relief, right, when those boys came in. James Perkins, Melody Perkins, five that are going to go eight. 24 on the day. Should we have fun out there? Yeah, we have fun. Just tough to. It's tough to catch a good one. Yeah, it is. That's definitely the story right now for a lot of teams. Alan Martin, Langston Martin. Five bass. They're going to go 835 on the day. Did you have fun out there? I did have fun today. We caught a lot of fish. So How many did you catch? I probably caught 20 fish. How'd we catch them? Shaky head. That's a good way to catch them on a spinner rod. It's a good time. Thank you guys for fishing with us. Joey Davidson, Tullis Lanier. Five fish that are going to go just shy of 11 pounds, 1098. No kickers, but had fun. Uh, yeah, caught a lot of fish. Yeah, just, just couldn't get no big ones. Absolutely. The story on Logan Martin right now. We'll see you. Mountain Dew Big Bass right now is 589. Gentry Gordy, Hunter Farish. Great bag of fish. It's going to put them in the top five. The Pro Guide Batteries Leaderboard, 1549. Have we catch those? Uh, I think we caught all those on a Senko floating worm. So, no weight. We've got that. That's old school. I love that. Yep. We had, I got spun out this morning, had two that were over four and one over five come off. Oof. You probably will think about those on the way home, guys. What could have been? Yeah. So, Hunter, do you want to blame him for losing those? We don't have to talk to – oh, you want them? Oh, okay. So, you, you get to well, – at least you can't take all the blame, you know. Let's hold those up out here. Great job. Gentry Gordy, Hunter Farish, fourth place. Pro Guide Batteries leaderboard right now. 
It's take 1423 to be in that top 10. Those weights are growing and growing and growing. Me and Miss K on the podcast, I said it would take 13 to get a check. I'm pretty sure that was my weight guess this week, and I think we're going to see that. A lot of good bags of fish coming in today. I'm just jealous we're working. I know. I'd, I'd, I'd like to be out there catching a couple. Yeah, you know? yeah there's no doubt. There's bikes to be had. Even you and I could catch one right now. William Nichols and Jake Young, five that go 9-10 on the day. And you look like you're running off the stage trying to run away. Yeah, I was in a pretty big hurry to get out of here. I mean, <laughs> I'm just ready to get home. Yeah, I mean, that's embarrassing. A lot of fish to be had out there, and quality is definitely the issue. It, it, I've been out here past three weekends and just still haven't even ran into a three pound fish. So it's just been tough on us, but stay after we got tournament here next weekend, unfortunately. So be back here. Well, maybe you'll catch five four pounders next weekend. The Krausen boys, Colby and Kate, come on up here, boys. 10.05 on the day. Were we scoping, not hoping, sight fishing? What were we doing out there today? Uh, we were throwing uh, swim baits and jigs. Swim baits and jigs. Now, is that like a mag draft style bait? We're throwing glide baits? Uh, on a scrounger, so about four inches. Okay, so targeting spots with that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, the Krausen boys, thank you guys for fishing with us. That's a team to watch right there, I can assure you. The Adams family, Justin and Jacob, about 120, and a great bag of fish. It's going to put them in the Pro Guide leaderboard top five, 15, 46. Things are happening in the late flights. How did you said? Were you surprised by that? A little bit. It was about that yesterday. Well, hey, yesterday don't count. It's Saturday that pays the money right here when Miss K is going to hand out those checks. How did we catch those? Every one of them on a green pumpkin chatterbait. Green pumpkin chatterbait. Are we around docks with that? Um, Wood? Yeah, everything is around docks. We probably broke two off that Rover 5, so. That hunter is pretty bad. Yeah, that's going to sting on the ride home. Let's hold some of those up. A Mountain Dew Big Bass of 460. Going to be a little short of our Mountain Dew Big Bass, which is 589 right now. Big Logan Martin largemouth. Great job, guys. Boat 129, David White and Hannah Peoples coming up next. They had five. When we checked in with them on live, they lost one on live. I saw David. You can blame him for that. I saw him lose it. Came off on the drop shot, but a great bag. Looks like you upgraded after I left. 12.57 on the day. Great job. Pretty good. Yeah, I had a good partner. You did, and Hannah can, I mean, are you going to blame him for losing that? Because we saw it on live. It was a good one that would have cold. It jumped higher than a smallmouth, and he lost it. But he, he said he he just had a little bit of back issues, though. He was throwing out excuses. Were you upset about that? It's okay. I'll let that one slide. Okay, we're going to let that one slide. Great day on the water, David. Thank you guys for fishing with us. Chris Landers and Brad Pitts, 11.73 on the day. Tough day, man. Caught a lot of fish, just a bunch of little ones. What we catch them on? Uh, swim jig, um, Texas rig worm, shaggy head, whatever. You name it, they were biting it, just not big enough for you. Appreciate y'all. Cody Williams, Jonathan Cone, five bass. 771. You got your jersey on up here. You got the sponsors going on. Look, it's official. <laughs> Thank you, guys. He, he's like, I'm not talking to that ugly guy. I'm not talking to that ugly guy. Gage King and Wes King. The limits continue. Five for 11.16. It's going to be just shy of the mark, I believe, today, but just needed one more good one. Yeah, we had a couple on that uh, we lost, so part of it. It's just how it goes out there sometimes. Dean Robinson and Joel Hughes. Boat 127. Good bag. 1320 on the day. That gets you above that average where we said, you know, 11, 10, 11, 12 pounds. We're going to see a lot of those. That 13 pound mark is going to be really, really competitive today. We hope so. Sure hope. Fingers crossed for you guys. Walter Lawrence and James White. Boat 144. He says they're going to weigh 1110. You're wrong. You are so wrong. 1080. Should have fed them another pack of crackers. I would have fed them anything that they wanted if they had eaten it. 
at this point. It was hard to get a kicker out there today for a lot of folks. It was. I mean, we fished Saturday, last Saturday, Thursday, Friday, and, and we were getting a couple of really good fish every day, and I figured we might be able to string five of them together if we run the spots, and we just couldn't get them. They didn't bite. They just turned around and left like they'll do. They have fins and brains. They like to leave us and hurt our feelings. John Pollard, Tim Watkins, boat 146, 1187. On the day, some points towards that championship. Yeah, we had a good day. We did all we could do. I've been here for four days, and I still don't know what's going on. So we just went junk fished all day and happy what we got, I guess. Hey, it's it's uh, better than what it could have been. That's how you got to look at it sometimes in tournament fishing, especially when you're fishing for points. Jacob George and Ryan Sweeney, boat 132, and a, one of those above average good backs, 1370, just shy of that 14 pound mark. How we catch those? Oh, uh, yeah, ran up the river. Uh, you know, fishing current. It was all about you know what they let loose up there at the dam. Caught them all on a swim bait. So, you know, uh, caught them on a mag draft and and a little bitty you know a little ball head. You know, a little bitty swim bait on ball head and spinning rod. So, you know, it was we're a uh, you know we're power fishermen. We don't really like to do that too much, but that's how they wanted it. So that's how we had to feed it to them today. Sometimes you got to adjust and adapt even out of your comfort zone. Great job, Douglas and Joseph Shower Five Bass. 887. Mm -hmm. Did we have fun? Uh, a little bit. I felt like you were trying to run off, but I was going to catch you. Trying to go on. You were trying to go on. I said, don't talk to me. Jay Grogan and Ryan Ingram, boat 143. Five that are going to go. Not too much. 888 <laughs> on the day. You couldn't have done that again if you tried, 888. Could not have. We just caught a bunch of small ones. We never could get a good bite today. Whatsoever. That's the Logan Martin story today. The Watsons, Timothy Watson, junior and senior. Good bag. 13.04 on the day. That's that above average right there. Yep. I said on the ABT podcast, 13 pounds will get paid. Miss Kay argued with me. She always does that. <laughs> He's the boss, though. We had a good day. We, we caught a lot of fish. Um, the old ball and chain wore them out today. Uh, that's, that's pretty much. We caught a few on a uh, shaky head and... Uh, but and and the crankbait, but we had a good day. We caught a lot of fish. What bait were we using on the Carolina rig? We had a speed crawl. Oh, that's a great bait. Were they all spots? No, we had um, we had about even amount of large mouth and spots. On the Carolina rig, tried and true, right there. Got a little lull. We got caught up. I'm tired. I'm gonna take a nap. Be right back. Whew, lots of five bass. We had three teams. To my knowledge, three teams that have not weighed a five bass limit so far. Three teams. Can we beat the last, I think there was a tournament here, was it last year? 221 out of 225? Can we beat that today, Jason? I think this year we've weighed more limits than any year we've ever had. I would agree with that. John Simpson says this year at all the events we've weighed more limits than we ever have. I feel like that. Jason says he doesn't think we'll beat it today. Well, we're right. It would, everybody would have to catch a limit. Oh, never mind. Dad, gum it. Jason's doing math over here. Don't do math, Jason. I knew you had facts <laughs> that I did not have, Jason Duran. Adam Ryder, Brad Trotter coming up with five that away, 11 29. Just needed a kicker. Yeah, we had two good ones yesterday and didn't today. Couldn't reconnect with them. They loved you and left you. That's how, you, that's how it goes sometimes. Danny Kofer and Kevin Kofer, five bass limit, 651 on the day. You're shaking your head. Well, we've caught the same five fish all year. <laughs> same five all year. They just follow you around. Yeah, they, they, they love us. They just keep finding us. But uh, we, yeah. we caught tons of fish. We caught fish everywhere. Just could not get any size. That was it. That was the best we could do. But still, sometimes it's good just to set the hook. You got to have batting practice. Logan Martin's a great place to do that. Yeah, I got some points. So it was something. But yeah, towards that top 75, and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you, guys. Stuart Payne and Nicholas Brammel in the double digits with five for 10-20 on the day. 
Just needed a big one. Yeah, we need a bigger one. We, we knew Chakalaka was the place to go. Apparently, it wasn't. <laughs> you just knew, and then you were wrong, right? Yeah, I get it. Been there, done that. Robert Metis, Carlton Alford, five fish. 11-22 on the day. Hey, I fist bump it. I like that. Yeah, we just needed a big one today. We catch a bunch? Yes, sir. We had a great time. Would you suggest somebody come into Logan Martin if they want to catch a bunch of bass right now? If they come next week, they'll catch 20 pounds pretty easy next week. They, next they, week. They just ain't quite there yet, but they, they, they right on the earth. They were just right behind you all day. Yeah, they just would not bite. All right, well, we'll see. Now, I'm coming back next week, and if I don't catch 20 pounds, I'm calling you. Okay, you'll give me your number. I promise. Boat number 150 coming up next. Jim Beavers and Michael Wright. Five that are going to go 9.35 on the day. You just you just strutting right on off the stage like a turkey. I saw that just right on a – nobody wants to talk to me. Nobody wants to talk to me. Jeremy Britton, Matt Young, five that go 7-10, 7-10 on the day. You know, if we move a decibel point, that would be awesome, 71-0. Yeah, that would be great. You want me to make that happen? Yep. You got access to the computer. Perfect. I'll take Brian. Meet me around back. Right, I'll see you in a little bit. If Kay comes up, we got to run, though, okay? She's meaner than I am. 40th place right now is 12-08 for a check. Ken Sessions, Greg Sessions, five that are going to go 11.95 just off of that check mark. Story of my life. Story of my life. Story of mine too. Yep. But, uh, we had a good time today. We fished the way we wanted to. Um, just didn't happen. That's how it goes, and we'll see you down the road at the next one. Mountain Dew Big Bass is 5.89 right now. Michael Clay, Travis Stuck, five that weigh 11 even. It's better than what I thought, but just couldn't find in, two more to get rid of our little ones. So. But you found two Mountain Dews, and you're fixing to enjoy those and get some rest. Be safe going home. Ryan Kelly, R.J. Thompson, five that weigh 9.73. You got the hoods on. You're like, I'm out of here. It's time to go to the house. Time to take her to the house, get some air conditioning. It's rare that we get to say that, Jason, on the Alabama Bass Trail. Time to get some air conditioning. We're finally getting to that time of year, though. Skylar Sanders, Calvin Burton, five bass. 1175 on the day. Better than what I thought it was going to go. That's always uh, that's a good thing when you come out of practice. And you're like, hey, we caught him a little bit better. That makes you feel good. Yeah, we didn't really get much practice. We came out here for about three or four hours yesterday and tried to make it work. That's even better, man. Great job. Great points. See you down the road. Chris Walton and Jace Garrett, boat 139, 975 today. Just no kickers, no solid ones in there. Where were they? I don't know. If you knew that, you'd have them, wouldn't you? <laughs> I had a guy ask me at a weigh-in one time, why didn't you catch them? If I knew that answer, I would have more fish, most likely. Danny LaVoy and Danny Smith. Team Danny with five for 988. Was it Danny's fault? Yep. Okay, I'll blame Danny. <laughs> Here come the Beach Boys. Chuck and Charles. Solo act. The Beach Boys broke up. Don't tell me that. I love the Beach Boys. 5 10 11. Solo act now. Yeah, well, I mean, here. Just here. He's already gone. He's around the corner. Oh, okay. He's hiding out. all that work, and I'll. He's making you put up with me. That's what it is. We appreciate you guys. See that blue boat out there on the water all the time with the Beach Boys. Jimmy Wood and Ken Jones, great bag. Going to put them in the top five. 16-13 for Ken Jones and Jimmy Wood. 
Well, we got one for a Mountain Dew Big Bass. We're going to try. Mountain Dew Big Bass is 589 right now. That's got you in the top five looking pretty good in the standings. How do we catch those bass? Uh, rattle trout. Rattle trout. Okay. We're talking quarter ounce, half, three quarter. What size are we talking? Half. Half. What color? Uh, chrome. With a little blue on it? Maybe. Maybe a little chrome blue action. Old school. That'll get a bite on these flat, shallow lakes, though, won't it? Yeah. We uh, caught the first two on, on a flat, and then the rest of them just came real shallow. All right. Let's get one for Mountain Dew Big Bass, and let's hold these rascals up. 393, just a good, solid bag of fish. Didn't have one of those big kickers that we've seen in some of the other bags. Jimmy Wood and Ken Jones moved to third place. On the Pro Guide Batteries leaderboard, we're going to hold them up out front. And then hold them up for Jason Duran. Hold them up right out here first, guys. And then run, <laughs> running out of hands, he says. And right here. Need another one out front. Need one more out front. Jimmy Wood and Ken Jones in third place. Great bag today. Connor Miller and Kayla Miller, good bag of fish today for the Miller crew. 11.69 on the day. How are we doing? Pretty good. It was, it was tough. We had boat problems too, so that doesn't help. But we were able to s somehow catch what we did. So get you some points you guys had a great finish earlier this year and keep the momentum rolling yes sir just keep 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 being consistent no doubt about it we'll see you at the next one looking forward to it nicholas turner and joe lay five that weigh eight twelve joe flying solo yes sir. my uh, my partner had a emergency surgery he had a his hip messed up on him his bones was messed up so he has he's trying to get straightened out and uh I come down here and practice uh, two days and actually was getting a couple of good bites every day. Got one big bite today, but he's not in the bag. You left him out there? Yeah, it was. A, he hung me up in a root, and I, I was able to get him out of the root, but when I busted him out in open water, I guess he done tore a big hole in his head because he didn't stay on let me get him in that. He decided he didn't like you that much, and he? he didn't want to come see me. Bob Croxton, Mark Compton, five fish that are going to go 895 on the day i'll take it today take it today and move on to the next one live to fight another day 589 589 is our mountain dew big bass right now just heard these fellas say i wish we had a 589 boy i always do when i fish but this is a good bag of fish right here 1466 for crenshaw and adamson how did we catch those Shake your head. Shake your head. What we have on that shake your head? Brush off. Uh, you hesitated a little bit. That must be a secret right there. Shake your head with the brush hog. 14. It's a lie. I know. I know, y'all. How y'all do me up here? Chad Schroeder and Chase Schroeder. Another good bag. 1404. It's going to get you paid today. I hope so. We'll take it. It was tough on us, man. We beat on docks all day. Listen, there's some of these boys that if they hear you say that 1404. You had a tough day. You might have to fight somebody in the parking lot. Hey, we, we had one place that, that had fish, and we stayed in there all day and rotated docks and caught them, caught them pretty much every time we made a lap. We just couldn't ever get a big one. So Catching them on docks. Yes, sir. Fishing the boat docks again. Scott Crittenden and Matthew Crittenden, five that are going to go 929 on the day. And y'all are running. Y'all are running. I see y'all running off the stage. I can always tell, Jason, if they want to talk to me or not. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Ready to go get some dinner, you know. They're ready to get away from me. Bo Terrell and Matthew Daniel, 1048 on the day. And see, y'all stopped. Stopped right here. So you want to talk? What do you want to talk about? Uh, you know, I don't know. What do you want to talk about? We can talk about whatever. I call 1048. You're not going to get a check. I, I'm the bearer of bad news. But... Some good points. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, we had a fun day, but just no big ones. I, I, I understand. Sometimes the most fun days on the water when you're fishing bass tournaments turn into the most frustrating when you get to the parking lot and you got to bring them to these scales. Tournaments can ruin the fun, right? They can. <laughs> no doubt about it. We appreciate you guys fishing with us. Jason Tomlin, Justin Foster, 
Great bag of fish. It's fixing to put them second place on the Pro Guide leaderboard. 1690. 1690 for Tomlin and Foster. Step right over here. Let's talk about it real quick. How did we catch those today? Um, a lot of fish on a chatterbait, one on a swim bait. I think we caught a couple on a, uh, like a crawfish. Okay, so mainly largemouth then? Yeah, all largemouth. All largemouth. Let's hold those up. 1690 into second place for Tomlin and Foster. Chatterbaiting, swim baiting, and flipping them up on the Coosa today. Those weights in that Pro Guide leaderboard, tighten it up. Boat 163, David Hutchins and Todd Spencer coming up next. Hold him up for Jason Duran right here, guys. Don't leave him out. It, hey, it's never fun to weigh in behind the guys that move into second place. We, especially since we lost a five-pounder 15 minutes ago. Why is it that the five-pounders never like to go for boat rides? I, I, I don't know. When you desperately need them. Def desperately needed it. You got five that weigh 10.33. One Hail Mary, and we come back, and then he's got to drive eight hours to Illinois knowing that his partner really sucks. So he's going to be mad at you for a long time then. You're going to be mad all the way back to Illinois. <laughs> Are you going to post on Facebook or go live and say you need a new partner since he lost it? I'm telling you. If we, if we did any of that, we don't do any of that uh, Facebook. Anymore. Okay, no Facebook for you guys. Well, Jason Duran will post a story about you guys not – not catching that five pounder. Brian Province and David Talley. Good bag of fish. 13 69. How did we catch those? Oh, we had a good day out there. It was not bad. Looked like a fun day out there. 13 69. That's going to have you in check range for sure. Okay. Yes, like to get paid up, right? It's not a bad thing to go catch a bunch of bass on Logan Martin and get a paycheck. It's a pretty good, pretty good deal, if you ask me. Lee Boyd and John St. Buell. Five bass. 9.30, and you're running. I can tell you're running off the stage. You were over there by Jason. I have to chase you down to ask you the details. I have on deodorant, I promise. I feel like a lot. Yeah, still there. A lot of these guys are running away from me. Shane Thompson, Brent Shiver, five bass, 10.73. Good day right there. Right when I say that, you just run from me. Good day, he says. Any day you catch double digits, that's a fun day. Josh Chappell and Paul Davis on top with 1952 still. But right now we got Rodney Grant and Charles Stevens up. Five that weigh 11. Dancing. They're dancing. 11.43. They look like John Simpson on drums, just all over the place. Thank you, guys. All over the place. So <laughs> they call it the bucket of fish. <laughs> Scotty Holly and Brian Pike, five bass that weigh eight forty nine. Running from me, yeah. He's, I, 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 I listen. I know the body language. I can see it. Michael Adams and Raymond Adams. Another five bass limit. Twelve oh two on the day, and you're running from me too. He, <laughs> he's running off. Out of all the teams that have weighed so far, only three failed to bring in a five bass limit. It's crazy numbers the ABT anglers are putting up today. Stephen Rogers, Jacob Rogers, five that weigh. 997, just shy of 10 pounds. And I, I get the feeling you're kind of running off, too. I can't, I'm trying to. <laughs> you're trying to. <laughs> when you, you know those Brazilian steakhouses you go to where you hold up the, the green if you want another steak or the red? That's what we need. You get green if you want to talk to me red. Yes. You know what you think? I'm going to implement that next time. Yeah. Everybody would have a red if they're going to talk to Darian. Cody Farr and Hunter Billingsley. Five fish at 1121. You want to talk to me? How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm 
doing pretty good. Just up here, I'm soaking wet because we've weighed 4,000 bass so far. <laughs> At least you're keeping your feet cool. No doubt about it. It's a nice day today. How we catch those today? Uh, flipping all day around docks. We did lose a couple of key fish that just didn't get them in the boat, and we never could rebound from it. Sometimes they'll hurt your feelings like that. There's no doubt about that. Foster Bradley, Nick Harris, boat 160. 1309 on the day. Going to have you in check range right there. Maybe. Maybe. Fingers crossed? I guess. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers and toes crossed. 13 pounds of good bag. Trevor Elliott, Bo Buford, Washam. 5 823 right there today. Off the mark of where you needed to be. Probably got a lot of bites, though. No. It Not a lot of bite. It was terrible. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible. Yesterday. Whose fault is it? It's the weather's fault. Okay, weather's fault. I thought we could blame each other. Okay, okay. The weather's fault. Me and my life, I like to bring blame uh, Darian most of the time. Anytime anything goes wrong, Darian. Stubby toe, Darian. Little Darian. 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 Hope y'all got to tune in to ABT Live this morning. Myself, Jason Duran, Darian Craig out there running around on Logan Martin. We, we got to see a lot of fish catching going on. I started my day fast and furious right here close to the ramp watching our tournament leaders. But before I even got all the boat numbers called out, Jason Duran tracked down Mark McKegg and Tim Hurst, and they were putting fish in the boat. So it's been fast and furious all day on Logan Martin. If you're watching at home and you're not close to the Coosa River, I would suggest getting down here in the next week because it's going down, John Simpson, like a Fat Rascals concert. Yes, sir. They are catching them on the Coosa River right now. I've heard that is your favorite band, the Fat Rascals. Can you what what's what's a song that the Fat Rascals? What's their hit song? Do you know? Uh, I believe it's Biloxi Blue. Is that it? <laughs> that, was, that wasn't a shameless plug. I was hoping you'd say something like Lukenbach, Texas, or <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the Fat Rascals play the only good song they got twice. <laughs> they ask us to play it, we will. Brent Benton and Dwayne Kill. Hey, we'll go no, hey, no, no, it's it's stuck. It's stuck on 904. I apologize. It's out of gas. Ain't got no gas in it. What happens? You too, sir. We're sorry we won't let you weigh in in the basket. If you got in the basket, weight goes up. No, no. Miss Kay, listen, you get in the basket, you're going to have to fight Kay. <laughs> David Ayers, Randall Barner, good bag, 13-15 on the day. That's going to be right there in check range, I believe. Hopefully. If you don't get a check, take it up with Jason. We needed points. Need the points to get that top 75. Lay Lake, boys. See you all down the road. Jason Wyndham, Kevin Peel. Four bass on the day, 536. I don't get to say, I'm going to be honest with you. Today, I don't get to say four bass a lot. Been a lot of limits. Did you lose the fifth one at any point? Uh, We lost we lost three this morning that, that hurt us for that fifth bass. But we had a great day of practice, great two days of practice. Um, but our, our fish just moved. When the wind wind changed and died down it it changed where the bass were and how how they were located on some stuff we were on and we just couldn't find no more fish a lot of times in the wind i call those liars they they make you feel real bad the next day sometimes yeah we, we i feel pretty bad right now you know not catching a limit but you know we'll come back we keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger and that's what we're trying to do this year is trying to learn learn the lakes these lakes we we've never fished so uh this is a whole new experience for us and as long as we're getting better and we're learning, I think that's a good experience, and we'll just move to next year, and next year we'll come out firing. Learning and having a good time. We appreciate you guys fishing the Alabama Bass Trail. That's what it's all about. Brandon Rufo, Marshall Rufo, spent some time with these fellas this morning on ABT Live. 12.57 on the day. Did those magic boat docks ever pay off again? You were letting them rest and going to come back. No, we got point. Three pound call off them. Of that, that's it. That's it. So. So do you think that I brought you bad luck when I came in there because you never had another bite on them? No, I hope not. No, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it was. Maybe it was me. Appreciate you guys. 
Got to spend some time with this next team right here. Come on up here. C.J. Knight, Anthony Goggins. Saw C.J. putting a clinic on Anthony there. 13.45. Good bag. You guys are in second place in the points. That's certainly going to help with that. And did you guys stay offshore? That's where we saw you all morning. But did you change it up at all this afternoon? Yeah, we did. We caught most of our fish, as, as you've seen, uh, offshore. Uh, shallow. You know, fish trying to spawn, but the water's not high yet. We... Uh, Got on some bedding fish in practice, but it didn't pan out for us. We ended up calling one more time. And um, it would have been nice to have a big bite, you know. I loved hearing Goggins gripe about a spinning rod, and then you were just steady putting it on him with the spinning rod. He's like, I hate this stupid thing. And then you caught two that would call on the spinning rod while he was complaining. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Uh, I hated he didn't bust out the wig today because we didn't have quite enough weight for that. But it was a fun day. Well, maybe we'll get to see the wig at the next one. Jeff Myers, John Melton, great bag of fish, 1360 on the day. Definitely going to have you in check range right now, and I know that's got to be a good thing to hear. And if you don't get a check, take it up with Darian. He makes all those decisions. <laughs> he decides who gets I swear. He told me today, I, did you know that he gets paid to work here? They don't pay me at all. You're in the wrong job, man. Know, you know that? That's crazy. Don't tell my wife. She <laughs> thinks I get paid. Thank you, guys. Sammy Reynolds, Jeff Kite, five that way, eight thirty-two on the day. You said shoo. It was rough just trolling around out here because steering cable broke. Oof. Mechanical issues. We talk about that on a lot on live. There are so many variables that can happen. It can be boat draw, it can be weather, but it can be mechanical. Sorry, you had one of those today, and get that fixed before the fourth event. John Burt, Charles Davis, five that way. 10.33, good job getting the double digits today. Beautiful day out here. It was, uh, spent most of the day kind of just floating up, messing around and broke one of the ears off my trolling motor prop. So we floated around and got 10 pounds. It was a good day. Good recovery. Listen, two mechanical issues in a row. You guys need to stay away from each other, okay? You don't need to be in the same flight again. Trouble coming up here, I'll tell you right now. Mr. Terry Tucker. Jeremy Green, and I mean trouble for the top five. 19 even going to come up just shy of that 1952. Mr. Tucker, the Coosa River. This team right here wins a lot of money. 19 even on the day. I see the disappointment. I know you wanted that, that win. It's going to come up a little short today, but a great, great day. How do we do it? Well, I mean, we'll take what it is. You know that. I'm just proud to have what we have. Um, it went pretty well. We didn't lose the fish all day and got the right bites. We flip those up? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's the that's the Terry Tucker, Jeremy Green way. I know that. Let's hold those up. 589 is the Mountain Dew Big Bass right now. I don't think we got that. We just got a good four and a half pound average. Just good solid bag of fish. We all up the river today, or what? Where we do most of our damage? Uh, we's up the river. I figured you would say that. I feel like there is a down river. There, there's a down river. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I think if you turn left out of here, I'll take you sometimes. Show you where it's at in case you get lost. Let's get some pictures right here. Second place, y'all give it up for Terry Tucker and Jerry McGreen. That's a legendary team right there. Does work all over the place, but on the Coosa River, you do not want to be up against these guys. That Lay Lake Championship, they got it circled three times on the calendar. I will assure you of that, and they will be trouble. Won our championship last year. J.D. Perez, thank you guys. Great job. I'm sure we'll talk to you again in just a little bit. J.D. Perez, Kevin Gibson. 1337. Well, that's a pretty good day. Um, you know, we're not that great on this lake, and uh, we're hoping at least 10 to 12 pounds, and 1337 is fantastic. Above your expectations, and look, above, above the average, we see a lot of 10s, 11s, and 12s. That 13 plus is definitely going to separate you from a lot of teams. Oh, yeah, and uh, flipping docks all day long, uh, I'm going to tell you what, they're out there. Uh, first four spots we want to stop at, there was somebody there, so we said, listen, let's just go to this one to this one wall that we went to the fifth. And uh, I didn't want to. 
My partner said uh, he uh, he left you. By the way, yeah, he, he just me. ran away. He does it all the time, and uh, he was right because we got on that wall and uh, four. Uh, we we had our 10, 10 plus pounds, and then we went to other places and and caught the others. But uh, it was a great day. Uh, not as good as the practice yesterday, but uh, bigger fish today, small fish yesterday, and I like that. I like that too. One more, thing. One more thing, Lawson. If you're watching, I know your name has it open. Poppy loves you. Shout out to Lawson. Poppy, thanks for fishing with us. Curtis Coleman, Ken McNaughton, 1041 for five right there. <laughs> we had a limit at 715. Goodness gracious, it was fast and furious. We called up all day. We didn't lose a fish. That's the best we could do right there. Couldn't catch that kicker, but great job. Good points. We'll see you at the next one. James White, Eugene Davis with five bass. 10.93 here at stop three. Yeah, it could have been a lot better day. We had some really good fish get off today. So Hey, you know what? I'm a glass half full kind of guy. Could have been a lot worse, too. You know, could have been a lot worse, too. <laughs> Ashley Brasher, Kyle Tigner with five bass. 11.41. Tough. Tough day. Yeah. Did we get a lot of bites or just lacking quality? A lot of bites, a lot of fish, just not the right size. Story of Logan Martin for so many teams. We appreciate y'all fishing with us here. The Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. I bet they are. He says they're going to weigh a big one. It looks like it. Great bag. Wesley McKellar, Adam Corrington, 16 69, going to have you right there in fifth place on the Pro Guy Batteries leaderboard. Hey, that's not bad. We'll take it. I like that hat. I appreciate it. Can I, I mean. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't win popularity contest, but that's okay. I mean, dude, you kind of look like Indiana Jones. I'm not going to lie. Well, he was pretty popular for a minute. Maybe 100 pounds overweight in. Well, you know, it's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I like that. How we catch him? Texas rig. Texas rig. We're throwing, we're throwing brush hogs, creature baits. Shallow. Shallow, shallow around docks. Shallow dock. Yep, caught all largemouth today. Is it crazy how popular boat docks are? Well, that's not what we practiced on, but that's just what it kind of turned into. Yeah, it's a boat dock world we're living right now. Let's hold those up right out front. 423 on a Mountain Dew Big Bass. Going to be short of our 589. McKellar and Currington, 1669. Right out front. I'm doing a terrible job because Darian's distracting me. Talking to me as always. David Cooper and Chris Strickland, five bass, 1077. It was rough. It was rough. Just no quality. No quality. Couldn't get on no heads. That's what it takes to do good here. We've seen a 589, a 560 something. Yep. We couldn't get on no heads. It was all spots all day. Big ones are just running from you. We'll see you at the next one. Terry Stevens, Gabe Aldridge, five bass. 13.22. I keep saying that's that above average. It's going to have you in check contention. What do you think? I don't know, man. It was a uh, it was a grind. You know, we saw you this morning. We fished for that fish for three hours today. Never did bite. Never did bite, and she would have made a world of difference. Y'all were low and slow up there on it, trying to sneak up on it. She just never would eat. And you said it was a four-pounder. That would definitely help. I was eating hot dogs, just waiting for the hook set. You said sausage biscuits. You were just, that is the thing when you're bed fishing in a team turn, one guy's on the rod, the other's just waiting on the hook set. I didn't get this body by not eating. That's, hey, listen, that's what I tell them all the time. That's how I got in such good shape. It was a superior diet of oatmeal cream pies and banana, I mean, uh, bologna sandwiches, as we heard earlier. Greg Bearden, David Connor, five bass. 11.63. Did you eat any sausage biscuits on the water today? One. One? Okay. We was uh, fishing boat docks, you know, uh, FBD. Hey, listen, it's a very popular technique right now, they say. So we it's taking, sweeping the nation by storm. Even people that don't fish talk about boat docks. It's crazy. Oh, well, well we didn't want to fish boat docks, but, you know, sometimes you just got to FBD. <laughs> I hear you. Man, those three letters, it's like FFS, forward face and sonar. It's a, a crazy. David Mims and Chris Masters. Going to slip into this top three right now with 1768. 
Mims and Masters. The later flights are definitely starting to stack the weights up. So we get late here in the weigh-in. 589 is our Mountain Dew Big Bass. Tyler Malone and Cade Law. Right there, I'd go with that one. Mountain Dew Big Bass, a 466. Just a solid bag of fish right there. Hold them up out front. Mims and Masters, 1768. One out front here. And then we'll show them off over here to Jason Duran in the corner. Great job to third place. And I'm sure we'll get to talk again later, but real fast, how do we catch those? Jigs and shaky heads all day, upriver. Upriver jigs and shaky heads. Sounds like a good time. It sure looked it. Looked good on the scales for sure. David Crawford, Rob Sandlin. 981. Had to follow that 17 pounds, but you got this guy here. You've been playing baseball today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you win? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What position do you play? play all of them. All of them. Did you hit a home run today? Yes, sir. You did. Give me a fist bump on that big guy. Right off the tee. Right off the tee. <laughs> home run all the way to the fence. Did you get to slide today? That's my favorite part. Yeah. Say no, sir. Yes, sir. No. <laughs> you didn't get, your mom is appreciative of that. You don't have to wash those pants and go to sliding. Larry Walters and Shane Patterson, by the way, 10 40. Did you hit a home run today? <laughs> not not like the other guys did. <laughs> I understand it. Been there many times. <laughs> Keith Mayfield and Daryl Adams. Boat number 215. <laughs> Five for 11, 14. Just going to be off that check. Mark right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we'll see you at the next one. See you down the road. The tanks are starting to stack up. Again with some more bass. Here comes Tim Peak and Byron Smith. Five that weigh twelve ninety two. Is that gonna be enough for a check? I don't know. We'll see. F not. Fingers and toes crossed. Yeah. I yeah. got mine crossed too. I like it. I Oh, I like it. There you go. Play games at home, Tim says. Jeffrey Haskins and Mike Chambers. 5 for 13.38. Check range? Uh, probably not. It might be close. These later flights are catching them. Fingers crossed for you. 13.38. Jonathan Weathers, Tim Partridge, five bass. Nothing to talk about, he says. 908, we'll see you at the next one then. Boat 208. Brian Stifler. Ben Black. What's up, brother? Just Brian. Brian flying solo again. 13. Lean on it. Lean on it. I do accept bribes. Take some of those hammer rods. Oh, we can do that. Man. I can range that quick. <laughs> 1327, is that going to be a check range? No, I think that's just out of check range. But if it's the top 50, we'll take it for the points. We just want to get the lay. Fishing solo, trying to get to lay lake. That's all we want to do is get a lay. I think we'll have a shot there. Oh, we'll see you down the road. I know you will have a shot. Derek Hutchins and Jay Hutchins. Good bag coming up here. Going to get a just shy of the Pro Guide leaderboard, top 10, but 15 10. Great day out there. Yeah, yeah, we had a good day, man. It's just we started out good this morning and run into a slump about midday. And, you know, hey, we come back alive right there about an hour ago and call a couple of fish, and there it is. How'd we catch them? Uh, we're just throwing creature baits around. 
Just Texas rigging? Most of the time. Around the docks, wood cover, what are we doing? Just throwing them, man. Anywhere they just throwing them. <laughs> just throwing them. <laughs> yeah. You make it sound easy. Now, so many teams have called seven and eight, nine, ten pounds. You come in with 15 pounds. Oh, we're just throwing it over here, throwing it over there. Anything that looked good, man. You may have to fight somebody over saying it was easy. Well, it wasn't easy. I can assure you that. I know it wasn't out there. Great job. 15-10 on the day. Jamie Lewis, Charlie Thomas, five bass. 12-10. 30. Well, you got a crew. These are the bodyguards? It is. It is. That's him. Do you have to protect him? Yes. Does he get in trouble? Sometimes. Sometimes? But you're there with the muscle. Do you have to be his bodyguard too? Yes. Do you like to go fishing? Yes. Do you like to catch bass? Yes. What kind of baits do you like to use? I don't know. You don't know what kind of bass you I know you do. You got that, you got that hat with that swim jig on it. I can see it right there. What do you like to use? Crankbait. What kind of crankbait? Rapala. Little John. Little John. All right. Thank you, guys. Daniel Carlisle, Jared Hubbard. Five good bass. 14-23. Good job. How we catch those? Uh, caught them all early this morning. Uh, and then, then the wheels fell off the wagon, and we couldn't ever, couldn't ever get back around them. So. Could put them back on the wagon. But a great day, 14-23. Mitchell Hall, Ray Mitchell. Four bass. Four good ones for 9.58 on the day. Just shy of the limit and keeping on rolling. Shane Horton, Brandon Horton. Five bass. For Horton and Horton, five bass are going to weigh 11 pounds. And you got a bodyguard. How are you? Hey, I'm going to do something. You're going to do something? What are you going to do? Hey, Mommy. Hey, Mommy. What else are you going to do? I'm going to go to my house for my stay here. You're going to you're gonna go to your house or stay here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? Chocolate. That's been the that's been the favorite today. That's been the favorite. Thank you guys. Eleven fourteen right there for the Hortons. Boat two twenty two, Larry Franks Junior and Senior. Ten twenty five. I felt like you were running away, but you stopped to talk to me. Ten twenty five on the day, just no kickers. No kickers. Whose fault is it? Uh mine, I guess. <laughs> He says it's his fault. Never take the blame. Terry Coglin and Ted Scoville, five bass. 1084, double digits on the day, but just a little off the check mark. Right there, we'll see you at the next one. Boat 214, these guys are trouble everywhere we go in the Alabama Bass Trail. Rob Lee, Steve Winslet, five bass. Five healthy bass are doing the John Simpson up here. Drumming around. 13.06 on the day. Just couldn't catch that one kicker to put you over the top. That's what we're seeing to get those better bags, it seems. Yeah, uh, we didn't have a big one on, but we lost three fish over three pounds that would have really put us up there. But that's just the way it goes. This time of the year, they're hard to keep hooked up. No doubt about it. They bite a little finicky, but 13 pounds to keep you guys in that points race where you're always at. No doubt about that. Matt McKenzie, Brandon Black with five bass. Uh-oh. I like a cheering section. Here we go. Represent. 11.43. Anything you want to say to that crew? They got cameras. I see cameras everywhere. I'm nervous right now, to be honest. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for coming out. We're a little bit bummed. We fished out here last weekend. We had 18 and some change, and we're hoping to get it done today. And just a little bit short. Couldn't get that big bite today. So. I loved you and left you. That's what happens, right? You brought them to the weigh-in. You got to save them for the Alabama Bass Trail. That's what it was. Great job, guys. And thank you all for coming. Troy Richardson and Stephen Davis. Five bass. 11.47. Good job today. Good points. Going to be a little off that check cut. Winding things down here. 
Alabama basketball stop number three, Logan Martin presented by Phoenix Boats. Victor Harper and Blake Harper, four bass. That weigh nothing. They weigh they weigh more than nothing. Five sixty six on the day. It was a tough day for us. Tough day. Yesterday was real good. Needed the win. Yep. Yep. It's always the, the way it is, right? Just always need what you need what you don't have in bass fishing. Robbie Lee, that Crowley, five bass. Eight forty three here at stop number three. Hadn't been here in two years, so we'll take that. Take a limit and move on, right? Boat number 216. He said, good to see y'all. High five. Harry Parkinson, Jason Turner. Five that way, 885. You're looking forward to the next one. Oh, yeah. It can't be no worse. Can't be no worse? Let me throw a frog. You can throw a frog. Okay. I'll hold you to that. We like to see frogs get thrown on the Alabama Bass Trail Live. Josh Chapel and Paul Davis on top of that pro guy batteries leaderboard with 1952. Terry Tucker, Jeremy Green with 19 even in second place. David Mims, Chris Masters in third with 1768 right now. Now we got boat number 220 coming up. Austin Archer, Charles Estes with five bass. You had to wait a little bit for me to call that number this morning, didn't you? <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little while. 972. It takes a long time to get to 220 on that list. I'll promise you. I'm sitting there like, all right, here we go. Here we go. It does. We'll be at the front and come Alabama River. Yeah, that's right. We'll see you down there. Good old Alabama River. we got a couple more teams to go as we wind things down here. 1546 to get in our Pro Guy Batteries top 10 right now. Great day on Logan Martin. Lots of fish caught. That check cut ended up at uh, right now 1315. And the check to get in that check line, you got to beat 1315. And wherever Kay is at, I hope she remembers that I said that on the podcast. 13 pounds. I think I did. Pretty sure I did. Did I say that? Daniel? Man, golly, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Blake Johns and Lance Beard and Early don't. Five bass. 939. Y'all are way over there. It's good seeing you guys. Y'all doing okay? Yeah. Doing all right. Just ready to get home? Yeah. Long day. Long day. It is a long day. No biggins and being in the last flight. Long day. We're going to give away some money today, though, to 40 teams. $65,000 right around there, an overall payout. $15,000 plus contingency is going to go to the winner today. So many different bonuses from the Phoenix first flight to Yamaha Power Pay. Some Garmin money. Everybody's pitching in. There's so many contingencies. Thanks to a lot of our great sponsors, and we appreciate everybody tuning in. I think we got one more team to play to wrap this thing up. And I think it's the most adorable team here, it looks like. You know, coming up, right? I don't want to spoil it for everybody at home. You can't see what I can see backstage. But I'm excited. Definitely, well, I don't know. Half of this team is the cutest partner we've seen today. I think we can say that. Half of the team. What do you think, John? Is he talking about me? No, yeah. Yeah, Jason said you were, yes. I, I'm, best of the th I'm best looking of the three? No, he said of the two. He, did, he excluded me. I was, fixing to give, I was fixing to give Duran a raise. Yeah. Do you get to make the decision for races? I'm going to talk to you about that. If he told me I was good looking, I'd make sure the decision was <laughs> It's got weird. Okay, can John give us a rate? Can John see if I can just get paid? I can't get paid? Okay. This is an internship. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the most fantastic team we're going to weigh in today. Gary Rogers 
James Doramus, and we don't even care about the fish. 504 on the day. Well, look at this right here. That's a little dicky. Little dicky. Hey, bud. How you doing, dicky? I mean, now does does little dicky get out there in the boat with you? No, no. Really? No. Last time I had a dog in the boat, I tore my lower unit off. So no more dogs in the boat. No, 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 no. Dude, he looks like a bass pointer. I'm not kidding. Look at this. Would you like to weigh him in? Yeah. You would like? Would you like to come in? We could do it. Yeah, weigh him. Let's well, so it's a Mountain Dew. Big Dotson of the day right here, guys. Little Dicky, watch the scales right here. Little Dicky's been eating really good. Here we go. Little Dicky, little Dicky, very alive. 16, 16. I would say you shouldn't call him little, but I don't think we can say that on stage. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys thank you little dicky that was awesome come back at the alabama river stay away from the alligators on the alabama river we saved the best for last i know josh chapel and paul davis won this thing but that was awesome you're welcome what other tournament trail weighs in a wiener dog come on the alabama bass trail's where it's at <laughs> I don't know where Kay's at, but I might be in trouble for weighing in a dog. <laughs> Who wants to weigh their kids? <laughs> All right. Oh, me. It's been a long day, people. Josh Cap on Paul Davis, 1952 on top. Jerry Tucker, Jerry Green, 19 even in second place. David Mims, Chris Masters in third, 1768. Jason Tomlin, Justin Foster. 1696. We got more. Did you bring a dog? Did you bring a dog? You didn't bring a dog? Messed up truck? Okay. I mean, you've got five for 11.56. Did you see us weigh in that wiener dog? No, I didn't. It was pretty awesome. I was behind here. Okay. That would well, been, it would have been nice to see it. 16 pounds. It was a great bag. That's a good bag. It was a pretty solid wiener dog. That's a solid wiener dog. His name was Little Dicky. He was awesome. You missed it. Little Dicky. I'm going to try to read the top ten again. <laughs> Keep getting interrupted. Is that it right there? Scales are closed here at stop number three. Alabama Bass Trail presented by Phoenix Boats. We're going to run them, run down this top ten again because I've not made it through it one time during this weigh-in because it's been so crazy. So many five bass limits. So many wiener dogs. It was amazing. Josh Chappell, Paul Davis, 1952. Terry Tucker and Jeremy Green, 19 even in second. David Mills, Chris Masters, 1768 in third place. Yeah, shout out right there, the fan club. Jason Tomlin, Justin Foster with 1690 in fourth place. Jeff Jennings, Mitchell Jennings in fifth with 1688. Wesley McKellar, Adam Corrington, 1669 lands him in sixth place. Jimmy Wood and Ken Jones in seventh with 1613. Mark McKegg and Tim Hurst in eighth, 1605. Gentry Gordy, Hunter Ferris, 1549. And closing out our pro guide leaderboard right here in 10th place, Justin Adams, Jacob Adams with 1546. And a huge congrats to Tyler Malone and Cade Law with a 589 Mountain Dew Big Bass on a big swim bait. We're going to take a quick break, I believe, while we sort things out. It's been a fast and furious way, and we appreciate everybody watching. Stay tuned, and we're going to celebrate all these folks. We're going to do our favorite thing. Miss Kay, come up here real quick before we take a break. I think she's trying to work or something, but I'm going to bug her for a second. Miss Kay, we do, we do this podcast thing, right? The Alabama Bass Trail Podcast. Make sure you're subscribed on YouTube and following along, all that good stuff. What did you say the check weight would be today? Oh, God. 13. I think that's what I said. I'm not sure what you said. I, 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 I'm not keeping score. I've slept since then. I have no Okay. Okay. 13 pounds. A great event is what I'm getting at overall. And I was probably right. I'm getting at that, too. Well, I do know that you didn't pick Josh Chapel and Paul Davis in your top five. And you did. I, I know. I, I know. I know. I know. Okay. I'm not giving you the microphone. And I picked Terry Tucker and Jeremy Green as my dark horse to win this event and Cole and Noah Godwin. So I did have two there. But I just want to point out that I did pick Josh and Paul, and you did. 
So I probably don't need to bring up the podcast again, I guess. Uh, moving on, did you see the fact that we weighed in a wiener dog? I did see that. Um, I've lost all control here. I don't know if y'all know that by now or not, but I've lost all control. I had no control on live this morning. I have no control on live this afternoon. Uh, send the emails to Luke Duncan at southernboatingsupply.com. Shout out. I like that. Leave Duncan off of that. Uh, okay, one more thing. One more thing. Uh, before the next podcast, I'm going to need you to have – a prediction on the biggest dog we're going to lay in because we're going to make that a thing. Bring your pets to the Alabama River. We have had some awesome dogs today. We've had a basset hound, a corgi, a weenie dog. Um, I, mean, I love the dogs. Now, like, that's like my favorite part of the whole way in is to get to see the dogs and everything. Winston will probably be at Wheeler. That's Lucas Wright's dog, um, a little red golden retriever. He's cool. So I love when the dogs come out. Well, it's been a beautiful day to watch a weigh-in, so I'm glad the dogs came out and all these folks. We're going to take a quick break and then sort it out, then we're going to hand out hardware and all this money that we like to hand out, and I'm going to talk to you about getting paid. All right, we will be back in just a few minutes with more Alabama Bass Trail Live. Thank you, guys. The Alabama Bass Trail is sponsored by Rapala, VMC, Crush City, TH Marine. At Phoenix Boats, our passion for fishing is obvious. Whether it's a pro event or fishing with our family and friends, we truly love the sport of fishing. That's why our goal is to make every single Phoenix boat that goes out the door the best fishing platform it can be in both design and construction. We love to fish as much as anyone, and we believe it shows in every boat we build. Phoenix Boats. Built by anglers for anglers. I leave nothing to chance when it comes to hooks. They are the most critical part of the equation. This is truly the best hook I've ever used. Thinner, stronger, slicker, all the pluses that you really want in a hook. That red line right in the roof of her mouth, exactly where you want to get them. When you have the opportunity to create something good, you might as well make this great. And I think that's what we did with the Red Line Series of Hooks. The TH Marine Hydrowave H2 KVD Edition is a surefire way to ignite a feeding frenzy. The Hydrowave utilizes a sound emitting technology that imitates bait fish and other feeding fish below the surface that preys on the competitive nature of bass and other game fish to get you more bites. The Hydrowave is another way that TH Marine has you covered from transom to trolling motor. Big companies get bigger and bigger and talk about their fancy labs where they study fish behavior, but then they all go golfing on the weekend. We don't have a large laboratory to test baits. Why, you ask? We don't need a big laboratory because our pros fish, our employees fish, our salespeople fish, our suppliers fish, our mold builders fish, our owners fish, and our kids fish. This is our laboratory. Our R&D comes from time on the water, learning how to make fish bite. We don't have other hobbies, we fish. We fish all year in all conditions across the whole country. All that time on the water brings us thousands of hours of testing new products and improving current ones for all species. We're a family owned US company that has many of our products made in America by American workers. The products we don't make in America, we make in Guatemala, which supports many families in that country as well. I just love to make good food. Enjoy. Will do. For good people. Like our boneless wings. They're back, y'all. It all starts with our house-made sauces. We have this new kicking bourbon. So come on back for our boneless wings in three bold flavors. Boat number 178, 1690. Obviously a really good day. Uh, you got a net bait shirt on. Any net bait stuff you use today? No. 
<laughs> back, uh, back fuel. Uh, yes, yeah, back fuel. You got the new injector or just? No, no. just soaking the plastics okay. in it. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people earlier in the day were talking about how good the fishing was going to get in the afternoon. A lot of people caught their biggest fish in the after, or later in the day. Uh, Y'all being the, one of the later flights, did that help you out? One fish it did. We caught most of them early, though. Yeah. yeah. The, there was a big flurry this morning. Yeah, we, I mean, probably up. We caught them decent up to like 12 or 1 maybe, and then it got a little slow for us. But it wasn't really a flurry necessarily. It was just kind of picking them off. What um, the guys that caught them bouncing around all over the lake? Is there a specific area you caught them in, or is it just bouncing around? We had two places. Yeah, yeah. Wow. that was it. Nobody was in there with us. Wow. So. Shallow. Yeah, yeah, very shallow. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Good yeah. job, guys. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man, we'll see you. We're rolling. Boat number 185, 1768. You said jigs and shaky heads upriver. My question is, a lot of, or not a lot, but several guys said they caught a lot of fish today. One guy said he caught 50 fish. Was that the case for y'all? We caught probably 25 all day, most of them before noon. We had our biggest call. Yeah, a lot of fish, a lot of bites. Uh, Out of the 25, how many keepers? Probably 20. Well, 20 so keepers. Good fishing day. Yeah. Great fishing day. Great fishing day. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Third place right now, I'm in Bastro. Y'all ever finished this high before in an ABT event? No, sir. Awesome. No, no sir. It's about time. That's, there we yeah. go. Well, good job, guys. We'll be, hopefully, we'll be talking to y'all here in a little bit. Thank you. Yeah, man. Well, I did an awkward interview the last one at Smith with a guy who weighed in 19 and finished second. And y'all just weighed in 19 again, even, and finished second. It stings in a good way. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just proud to have what we have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're after the points. We've got to get to that final championship, and that's what gold is right that's there. Right. You're frustrated. Do you have any big bites that came off or anything that could have done different today, or did y'all fish clean? No, we fish clean all day. Uh, I'm just a sore loser, and I feel like if you don't if you don't feel that way, then uh, you don't need to be out here. Right. But um, I hate second more than anything. Uh but, uh, but you know, today went well. Uh, we caught all the big fish that, that bit, so we think. Uh, but we didn't lose any important fish that we know of. Uh, today went well, and it is what it is. There's a rumor that floats around tournaments that says y'all don't fish for many fish. You just fish for big ones. Some guys today said they caught 50 fish. No. <laughs> why, why catch 50? You're only going to weigh five. There you, go. you know what I'm saying? There you go. All right, guys. See you. Yes, sir. We'll see you all in a little bit. Thank you. Boat number 47, 1952, and Big Bass. Let's just talk a little bit about the fishing. Uh, it was good early, and then we kind of hit a lull and then got back on them later in the day, made a couple of calls, and just called up all day. Said you caught one just last stop? Yeah, pretty much last stop. We, I practiced in a little area and caught two three-pounders in practice and went in there, and he caught another three-pounder. So just kind of, kind of happened right. Somebody earlier mentioned they wish they had the very last boat number today because they start, just started biting. They talked about the midday lull, started biting again. Is that what you're seeing out there? Yeah, they're going to start. I mean, they're biting now. Um, if I, we personally think it's going to take over 20 to win. So, I mean, they're just biting too good. Large mouth spots are all together some places, you know. So, somebody catch them. There you go. Good job, guys. We'll see you here in a little bit. Good job, yeah, man. Guys. Live coverage of the Alabama Bass Trail is brought to you by Garmin, Powerful, Big Bite Baits, Mountain Dew, Yamaha. At Phoenix Boats, our passion for fishing is obvious. Whether it's a pro event or fishing with our family and friends, we truly love the sport of fishing. 
That's why our goal is to make every single Phoenix boat that goes out the door the best fishing platform it can be in both design and construction. We love to fish as much as anyone, and we believe it shows in every boat we build. Phoenix Boats. Built by anglers for anglers. Here at Lanners McClarty Chevrolet, it's time to pick your offer on a new Chevy Silverado 1500. That's right, pick the offer that's best for you. Choose rates as low as 2.9% for 72 months, or how about up to $12,000 off all Silverados? They have the best selection in years with over 500 pre-owned vehicles available. Big store, big on savings, and big on customer service. Visit LannersMcClartyChevrolet.com. Some things ain't worth keeping. Yesterday's traditions, today's adventures, tomorrow's memories. Now that's something worth keeping. Fish Alabama and find your keeper. For more information, visit fishalabama.org. French toast isn't just for weekends anymore. Get Jack's new French toast sticks any day of the week. Warm, southern made, and served with our sweet home style syrup. Every day's a good day for French toast sticks at Jack's, starting at $2.99. Welcome back to Lincoln Landing, stop number three of the Alabama Bass Trail South Division here at Logan Martin. Miss Kay, we're fixing to hand out that hardware, and it was well earned today because it was hard to catch quality. We saw that on live, but our top three got it done. 
They did. And we're crowning a brand new Alabama Bass Trail champion. So that's pretty cool. And they punched their ticket to the championship at Lay Lake, uh, which I know they've got to be excited about. So uh, let's get to it. Let's hand out some money. I bet they're all excited about those checks paying the top 40 today. Let's start with third place, though, here handing out the hardware with 1768 David Mims and Chris Masters. Must be present to win or Kay and I split the money. <laughs> Come on up here, guys. <laughs> David Mims and Chris Masters, a great day. Taking home $6,000. It's not bad for spending a beautiful Saturday out there on the Coosa River. Logan Martin full of bass, as we've seen today. Hey, since he had to leave, keep both trophies and hang them on the wall side by side. Let's go second place to the legendary team, Terry Tucker and Jeremy Green, 19 even. Puts them in second place today. $7,500 in winnings. And they're still disappointed i would say not sad very mad about it yeah they thought they they i think they thought they had it listen i've been doing this as the voice at alabama bass trail this year and i i gotta talk to y'all real quick because you said mm, 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 when you came up here and had a little grit and grind to it you're upset about it did y'all think you had it coming up on stage with what you had you thought 19 pounds would be take it today oh yeah i done bought the kids new shoes and baloney <laughs> and everything else no, but, i feel bad <laughs> but you know it, it is what it is we just we're competitive i mean you know and we don't want to lose ever so um you know i mean it, it hats off to the guys that that won it today was not easy at all but um we just want to win them all you know <laughs> we just want to win them all y'all win a lot though terry i mean over the years especially I feel like on the Coosa River, you, you show up, people like to just put their boat back on the trailer and go home. Yeah, that happens a lot. I've been that guy. I'm like, you know what? Forget this. I'm going home. And I know you're disappointed, but a great day on the water. Oh, yeah. We're always disappointed on not winning it when you get that close. But uh, we're, we're fortunate to have what we did. We uh, fished clean. And our ultimate goal is to get back to the championship at the end of the year, and then that's when we're really going to buckle down. Yeah, th that sounds like trouble right there, Lele. Thank you, guys. Terry Tucker and Jeremy Green, yet another great finish for those guys on the Alabama Bass Trail right there. Disappointed, though, Miss Kay. They're disappointment. These guys right here coming up, though, not disappointed. We spent time with them on live not once but twice today. They were dialed in from the start, catching bass a variety of ways with 1952. They had a 581 lunker in there today, too. Big bass. Josh Chapel and Paul Davis, your winners of stop number three, the Alabama Bass Trail South Division, presented by Phoenix Boats. Getting it done today and for their hard work out on the Coosa River. Going to go home with $25,550. That includes contingency bonuses like the Yamaha Power Pay and the Garmin bonus. Great job, guys. They let me slide right in there and watch them on live close this morning. I was so close I could have netted one of those big ones right out of the jump. Chapel and Davis getting it done out here on Logan Martin. This is always the fun part. When you get to hold up the hardware and the Happy Gilmore checks, you know the day went well. I've always wanted to take one of those to the bank and just see what they say. <laughs> They'd probably, <catch> probably <laughs> Miss Kay, you're throwing, y'all didn't hear Miss Kay throwing daggers at me for being from Tennessee, but I'm talking to HR. Problem is, that's Kay. She's not going to hear my complaints. $25,000, just over 25000 
for a day out on the Coosa. Real quick, let's talk about it. Big win and something that happened on this stage today that I thought was really cool because I see y'all's names all the time. I'm new to the Alabama Bass Trail this year, though, working for them, but I've competed against you guys. Y'all's name pops up all the time. We got this win, but something that happened today on this stage for me that was very cool was Mark McKegg, who's a legend, and Tim Hurst, legends in Alabama, tipping their hat to you guys up here on the stage. That was one of the coolest things for me that happened is like those boys can get it done. They were super proud for y'all, and it's just a testament to the community out here in the Alabama Bass Trail, but I think you're, uh, you guys are going to give them a run for their money as we go forward. Yeah, we try to. You know, they're they're as good as anybody's ever been on the Coos River. We've known each. I've known Mark since I was seven or eight. So, he uh, is good to get him today, though. You like it? You're gonna rub it in? Oh, definitely. How about you? You gonna you gonna let him know it? Uh, probably not as much as him. But. <laughs> probably not. You gonna let, let him take care of that? Well, congratulations. What was the number one key to the win today? Oh, just really just focusing on pre-spawn. Um, the spawn started. And we just felt like if we could stay around pre-spawners, we'd have a chance. I mean, just knowing this lake, we've been here our whole life. So, um, to get a win here is, in, I mean, incredible. Good feeling to win at home. Knock that home lake curse. Josh Chappell, Paul Davis, winners of stop number three. Congrats, guys. Thanks for letting us hang with you on ABT Live. Great champions right there. We appreciate everybody watching today. But one more thing to give away this Phoenix first flight money. Jimmy Wood. His 16, 13, and 7th place going to win that Phoenix money today. Phoenix payday, the bonus program, Jimmy. Wood coming on up here. Ken Jones and Jimmy Wood. Getting a top 10 on the Alabama Bass Trail. I don't think I can stress how difficult that is. 225 teams of incredible anglers out here. Lots of variables that you've got to deal with. To get to the Happy Gilmore checks is never easy. That is for sure. We appreciate the folks at Phoenix Boats taking care of us, believing in the Alabama Bass Trail, providing all these great programs for their customers and our anglers out here. And they let us borrow Jason Duran for live. For the ABT Live. Well, I believe that's going to do it for stop number three here presented by Phoenix Boats. We appreciate everybody tuning in, each and every one of you, all day long. We started bright and early this morning. Thanks to all this ABT crew, they work very hard to put on one of the best tournaments in this country. And if you show up and fish these, I know you agree with that. We will see y'all at Wheeler Lake for the next stop in the Alabama Bass Trail North here in Decatur, Alabama, in just a couple of weeks. And everybody goes crazy. This live coverage of the Alabama Bass Trail has been presented by Amherst Credit Union and sponsored by Phoenix Boats, Landers McLarty Chevrolet, McGraw Webb Chevrolet, Jax, Garmin, Rapala, VMC, Crash City, Pro Guide Batteries, Mountain Dew, TH Marine, American Baitworks, and Sweet Home Alabama.